You will never give uh, me a play on a modded server. Sure we will. Oh shit, I forgot to change my name. You know what, though, Fig? The, the data pack system, I think, will at least get to a place where you can add your own super basic custom blocks to the game. Isn't it already at that point? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I was just asking you. <laughs> if it is, then we should just be able to add bamboo mats to the SMP right now if we make the data pack. I was considering using a... Uh... You know how, like, cat those castles typically have, like, uh... Like what paper... castles? Japanese castles. They typically have, like, paper walls on the insides. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna use bam... or I was gonna use birch trap doors to represent those. That's not a bad idea. It works. It's, it's a decent texture for it. Yeah. Birch trap doors are very versatile. I have Very no tense idea. Time. I have no idea where I am. Well, you're somewhere between spawn and the corner farlands, right? Yes, that's a very large range, however. I'll have to start paying closer attention to jitter to figure out my coordinates. I think it's just uh, somewhere in an area of about 625 trillion blocks. What's the actual volume of a Minecraft world? Um, let's see. 60 squared is 3,600 times 1 trillion. Where are you getting 1 trillion from? Well, ultimately, this is just me uh, multiplying, or this is me doing 60 million squared by breaking it up into different things. I mean, all you need to do is multiply 30 by 30 million by 30 million by 256. Yeah, that's what I was doing. You're 200 years old. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're 200 years old. No, you. Ooh, that's a nice cliff. So it should be 3.6 quadrillion times 256. That's, hmm. that's a lot. Probably somewhere in the quintillions. <laughs> Maybe sextillions? <laughs> you said sex. <laughs> that's a sex number. It's funny because you said the sex word. 6911. Sixty nine eleven. I took down two chicks. What numbers have you come up with? Uh, for what? I'm talking about for the volume of a Minecraft world. Oh, I don't know. Hey, here's the real question: Is when I reach the core of Firelands, do I continue going to the corner of the world? I believe we're looking at about 921.6 quadrillion. That's a pretty significant amount. That's a lot of blocks. Ass assuming, uh, that is if we're assuming a maximum X and Z coordinate of plus or minus 30 million. Yeah. You know, Minecraft music is underrated. I enjoy it. Oh, Fig, here's an interesting mod feature. Uh, the ability to use leads to tie fence posts together. Ooh. You mean so you can make, like, lines? Mm. Yeah. I you can make, like, walked-off areas. 
So I wanted to do that with Shovel's ship on the docks on the SMP by making it look like it had mooring lines on it. In fact, let me show you an image of what I'm talking about. To text voice. Shall we, as you can see, we have Ooh, the land of text voice. You think that might be a plugin or data pack we can install? What? You know, I I don't know if that would be possible to do with a, with a plugin. The uh, attaching mm -hmm. fence posts to each other with leads. I mean, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, sitting on a piece of, uh, you know, like a stair is a plug-in thing. Yeah. It could just make an armor stand on the inside. Oh, no, that wouldn't work. It wouldn't make the appropriate texture. So, uh, earlier, Shovel, Fig and I delivered some... delivered a pound of ground beef to the International Space Station. That's nice. I think I might have screwed up my sleep schedule by taking that two-hour nap. So did you appreciate my uh, my computer voice? I did. Uh, what was the other voice you did really well? It was when you did Alpha's voice. Oh, uh, Radiant Click Undertale. Ventures. Whose voice? When you did Alpha's voice for Undertale and I played through that, you did a pretty good voice for that one. Yeah, the voice that you said was horrible, but you loved it? Yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's horrible because it's cringy, but it's good in terms of quality. Like it is what it, it it's be. like intentionally cringe. Though. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Alphys is a pretty cringy character. Not uh, cringe, but she'd lose subscriber. Well, no, my zero subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna unfollow you on Twitch TV slash Figonometry ninety eight. Hey, the only person that subscribed to me is Kevin. Kevin Wait Kevin. a second, Fig eighty nine. Eighty nine. Wait a second. I should have seen if I could, uh... Figs Ray! What? No. Oh. Did, did you find an account called that? No. Thank God. <laughs> That's hella tempting, though. I figured out my next, uh, build project I'm gonna accomplish on the SMP. Yeah? I'm going to build the south uh, pathway that runs from Spawn to the Shire. That's cool. I've had the problem for the past three days of not really knowing what to do, so I haven't done anything. <clears throat> I was working pretty hard on that village, but uh, I kind of started running out of the creative uh, energy. You know, the juices weren't flowing. Yeah, the juices weren't flowing. I need to redo the telephone that I did for the ship. Because, for some reason, white concrete on a map is way too bright for white concrete as a background block. Huh. Uh, it works fine with light gray, though. Like, it blends perfectly with that. So I just need to redo it. Weird. Yeah. A little, little weird champ, not gonna lie. I joined the build server today, and not a single person said hello to me. Hello, Shovel. Hey, Shovel. No, not this server. <laughs> I don't Just need your handouts. Out. I don't need your handouts. I'll hand your... Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop you right there, kind stranger. But thank you for the gold. Hey, we got another three-day weekend coming up this weekend. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gaming. You know what that means? I can stream for six hours without feeling guilty. It's Gamer Gator Thursday. Gamer Gator Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> Fire Gamer Thursday? I'm about to I'm about to have to make an elevated hidey hole on the on the IC. <laughs> huh? 
on the high C. No, no, the I, the ice C. Oh. Yeah, that, that's much more practical. Yeah. You can only sleep at night. You can only sleep at night. Thank you. You're welcome. I just figured I'd let you know that you can only sleep then. I just wish the armor bars were in the correct position. Oh, did Khan tell you his proposition for if we do a map reset? It's no. Is to focus making a gold farm and to have iron farms mm. connected up to it. Huh. Making Starting the gold farm wouldn't even be that difficult. All we need is a bartering farm in the nether. Easy enough, right? And then we just need to make a single level of the gold farm and let it build itself from there. Do the old Etho golden iron farm. I definitely want to make more of an emphasis on making really efficient farms on a server-wide scale for, mm. like, just good infrastructure. Yeah. I just suck. Is this stuff... No. Disconnect together in 116. Also, I uh, absolutely would love to build my Japanese-style castle in one of the new uh, mountain biomes, like, in one of the valleys there. Yeah. Be the perfect spot for it. That's cool. Hey, that's great. Wow. crazy for me to think that there are some people in this world who don't own Minecraft. A little, little weird, not gonna lie. Weird like a champion. Weird like a champion. Yep. Like a chump, hey! Like a chump, hey! Oh look, some sheeps. Give me your wool. You did it all for the nookie. The nookie. So you can take that cookie and stick it up your yeah. Hmm. You know what sound I appreciate, Shovel? The old bow yeah. firing sound. Yeah. It is nice. I also forget the bows didn't take damage. Nookie. God, I'm really gonna listen to Limp Biscuit, aren't I? Cox ahead in Utah. <laughs> no. What? A poll for the Utah governor's race. Cox leads Peterson by 26 points. Okay. Ah, Cox and Peters. <laughs> Cox ahead in Utah. Is Peters a, a slang term for penis? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lots of things are. Yeah, I don't believe it or not. Ripley's. Check. Look into the side. into the front of the side. The pain. Horn is down in, in Oklahoma. I turned in my ballot today. I need to register. Yeah. Today was the last day to do so in Florida, Texas, and a bunch of other states. Oh my god! Oh fuck, I might have missed my opportunity then. 
I would check. So the Democratic candidate in the Delaware. I mean, it's I'm like six thirty for you. You could literally register online. Their name, their their last name is apparently Blunt Rochester. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna get much with a name like that. Well, apparently, it causes you to lead in Delaware. Not nah, fig like literally check vote dog, dot org or something like that. It's not even the end of the day yet, so you could probably get registered right now. I did not want to search up Cotes or. <laughs> Who's there? Hello. Oh. Hey, Kevin. Oh, hey, Kevin. Hey, hey Kevin. Kevin. Kevin? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. I hear you now. Loud and clear. Read your Ligma Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie. Ooh, that's a nice hey, Have I shown you a picture of my uncle? Uh, no. Drunk Bob? Uh, yeah, look at this. This was posted on Facebook the other day by my uncle. <laughs> I like how you were related to the most boomer people ever and you were just <laughs> not at all like them. Is that sarcasm? No. I, no, it's not sarcasm. I had to think about that. I mean, in my opinion, it should be, but... <laughs> oh my god, the halflings are building their burrows. I love this picture of him. It's 100% my uncle. Is that... No, that it, uh, literally. Is that an, oh, that's an actual revolver. Yeah. Guys, if all the burrows of New York City <laughs> went to war, who would win? I don't know enough about them to give you an answer. Uh, I'm going to go with the Bronx, though. This Honestly, is my so money is on Staten Island because I think they are really defensible. Well, they are an island. On each side of my family, my mom's and my dad's side, I have exactly one uncle in, their, in each of the families who like stands out from all the other aunts and uncles. Oh, it's like the weird one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my mom's side, but my dad's side has an absolute chat of an uncle, too. It's got notification from Splax, TTT 927-2020. Yeah, dude, the, the halflings are moving in now. Take a look at this. The boys are back in town. I prefer yeah. the quarterlings. The tiny boys the moving into lings. town. Did you drop this in Texas? Boys are back in boys. The drunken pumpkin. I I like how if I look at text voice, I see all the random images from Clickhole earlier. <laughs> no shoes in the tavern. Biggins and improfers. Biggins and improfers. <laughs> Ooh, nice. this is nice. I've had no part in this, so I'm just gotta watch people do stuff now. A little sunroof, I guess. Hmm. Have on the glass to freak out the drunks. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Not, not yet. Oh, uh, that's, that's pretty funny. I like that. Let's see. Let's look at the other burrows. Oh, yeah, this is solid. Cake. Gotta have this stone cake. Oh, got a back edge. Back exit. Entrance. Whatever. This one's still definitely being decorated. Ooh, Bathroom. That's quite extensive. Uh, Kevin. Hmm? That's big. I told Shoeman here, but uh, when I eventually decide to build my uh, Japanese castle, I would like to do in in the new mountain biomes in a valley somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Fig, I've got an idea. You you know you were talking Ooh. about putting a wall around the entire um. Yeah, ninety six thousand uh, blocks long. Yeah. So uh, my idea is um, instead of building a wall, just build the farlands. <laughs> no, what I do okay, is... Okay, this is a nifty one. What I do is I uh, just copy Farlands regions and just 
paste them in in random locations. <laughs> <laughs> Have exactly one chunk of the far lands. When you discover the the far lands biome, are you gonna bust? <laughs> Look into these eyes. I'm not. I'm not gonna bust. Aww. Like a chump. I'll bust in your far lands. Hey Kevin. <sighs> Oh god. You're the worst. Ooh. That's Kevin. a nice one. Nice yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, Fig, did you just get that? What did you say, Fig? Huh? Gosh what, darn it. What'd you say, Mystic? Never mind, I'm not saying it again. What I'll just let say, the millions Fig? of viewers know, and that's all. It, 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 you mean one. One, it, it says one, it says one viewers. No, I mean the millions of people who are gonna watch it after it goes on YouTube. Out of the <laughs> two viewers, only one is subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed that out of all two of my viewers, only only fifty percent of them are subscribed. <laughs> in my so next you video, hit the button. <laughs> in my next video, I'm totally gonna meme that. <laughs> I Kevin, you whatever video it, I, I do, I've got I, plans I, for Halloween. I've been looking at my social blade lately, and. <laughs> The links to the merch store are in the description. It is just a link that takes you to a, just a fucking error page. Just Walmart.com. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What it is is it's it's one of those like it's like a plain white T-shirt with like a really poorly cropped image of my uh, Minecraft skin's face on it. Nice. Kanye West's plain white T-shirt. No, it'll take you to the Spotify uh, song for the plain white tees. <laughs> uh, Fig, what direction store just walking? takes you to a Spotify playlist. Uh, west <laughs> and south. So southwest. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, okay. like the airline. <laughs> southwest, like the direction. Get to the south. The side. Ooh, this is a nice forest. Mm. I wish I could disable the You phone. take a portion of every paycheck working people. I think earn. I am following you. You brainwash and rape children. You spit on people who fought for our freedom and burn our American flag. I have something oh. I want to give you absolutely free of charge. <laughs> 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 Shovel, did you want to see my chat, Uncle? Yeah, show him the images. Oh, boy. It just screams boomer. It's so good. Boomer humor. <laughs> the man's amazing. He's such a goof. Ah! Creepy boy! Alright, we're gonna game just combat. Oh no. He's dead. Got him. You take a portion of every paycheck working people earn. You brainwash and rape children. You spit on people who fought for our freedom. And you burn our American flag! <laughs> I have something I want to give to you absolutely free of charge. That doesn't look like very good trigger discipline. <laughs> wait, wait, is this... Is, this is he thing? sitting inside of, like, uh, is he sitting inside of a jeep? Yeah, yeah, it's his Jeep. He bought it not too long okay. ago. He went uh, exploring Colorado up in the mountains with his Jeep. That's He's cool. been modifying it. He actually had a knee cool. surgery recently. He's Could recovering in the hospital. Could you pass the message along to put his trigger finger along the receiver? <laughs> I know. That's the first thing I, I noticed when I saw the picture, actually. Sir, you're being unsafe. You're going to shoot out your windows or your phone. <laughs> 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 you gonna shoot my I phone and my hand. I guarantee he's driving too. My favorite videos are the ones he's of. He's not uh, the person who would stop. My favorite videos are the ones of people just uh, ranting in their truck for like 20 minutes. Oh, <laughs> TikTok rant truck. A female video. Bigfoot <laughs> raped me in the. Oh, you know man. where. That guy is basically this guy, actually. Like, oh, what was what was this? I, it was like a like dog training or something. Yeah, yeah, what? Um, I I'm subscribed to him. I should know. Um, dog training. Uh, dog training. Despite Bigfoot, it's Peter Kane. Dog training. This guy, okay, yeah, this guy okay. is basically the same. Um, as this guy that I sent you a picture of. 
<laughs> they did me. They get along great. Then my dad's side is like the embodiment of 4chan with the body of a chain smoking Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> that that is oh. very descriptive, and I like it. <laughs> very chaotic. I love it. I wish that those two uncles knew each other. My two lovely uncles. I wish they knew each other. I don't know if the world could contain such chaos. Both of them together would be like the ultimate um, survival team for the apocalypse. Kevin, what is the joke of the Peter Griffin you sent me? There is oh, nothing it's, there. Oh, uh, it's the Chad meme. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. It's the Chad meme, but okay. Peter Griffin. Have yeah, I see it now. Have you seen Kevin's GTA character? No. It's I recreated the Chad meme. I just it's recreated it's the, the Chad, Chad. meme. <laughs> it's not on bottle gear. I just go to George Floyd <laughs> for a laugh. James starts pirating copies of Netflix film Cuties on eBay to the highest bidder. And Richard invokes proxy wars across several bitter destinations, selling firearms to both sides for profit. That's such a good voice acting. <laughs> British accent. <laughs> I'm British because the stupid Americans. Okay. Somebody has instructions for this area. We have step zero, unleash nerdy. Step one, let nerdy do all the thinking. Step two, let nerdy do all the planning. Step three, let nerdy decide how to pre build. <laughs> Four, let nerdy pre build anything she wants to. Add in decoration stuff if Nerdy isn't good at it. Argue over whether we pre-built too much. Get depressed, drink alcohol, ignore problems. Step eight, at least we have cool exteriors here. Step eight uh, <laughs> defines my building process a little too accurately. Step 10, do the same repetitive task for three weeks until you lose your mind, fig. <laughs> area number three, Poggers tree area with Poggers. hidden bros all about. And it would have been better to leave this place empty for later. I'm going to crop out my uncle, like just the, a square of him holding the gun and then put delete this over it so I can uh, use <laughs> it on Twitter. That's good. Why am I carrying around gold ore? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Forgot why. Oh, this is the border of the tile. Okay. He used Soggy to do like... Sonic. Uh, used to do like car racing and uh, almost died oh. back in the day. That's uh, I think damage. he's also done demolition derbies and stuff, but uh, he uh, he's always fixed up cars. He's a real good mechanic. Once upon a time, I drove a NASCAR. What they does the NASCAR stand for? I don't know. They all grew up on the farm, so he had a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> Access to anhydrous <clears throat> ammonia, and you better believe he had fun with that. What is anhydrous <laughs> ammonia? Is it like a fertilizer? It's what uh, Timothy McVeigh blew up the um, Oklahoma thing with. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, neat. <laughs> hey, Kevin, when are you going on vacation next? Why? You want me to come to Cali? <clears throat> yeah, I got a few places I want you to visit. This whole hillside is the only thing I have left to work on, and I don't know how to approach it at all. Hmm. Put a big lighthouse right there. I wish. I need to continue building up cliffs around this. Shovel, you're a very talented builder. I am. I like to think that. I appreciate you and Kevin for teaching me the skills I've learned over the past year. I SMB. like these hills. Yeah. So Kevin, sure. what are you building your nether cathedral? Oh, uh, I was thinking about actually tearing down the um, layout for the third wing and just building the nether cathedral around the summoning circle. He tore out the entire right wing. <laughs> Left wing destroyed. <laughs> I, I love that image. All so the much. other people on the plane. Me destroys left wing. Everyone yeah. else on the plane. I'm more. I of think a I, I think I showed some of you what the uh, what the uh, grass areas on the hills looked like. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I like the I like those uh, block choices. I'll have to yeah, that's the mix use of that it. some of my stuff. I like all the greens that are in the game. There's a lot of good greens, but yeah, I was looking. There's a lot of good it. greens. There's not a lot of good like dark dark blues. There's yeah. like, the dark blues, but I wish there was more dark dark blues. I'm trying to and figure out what I could do for the uh, stone faces, the cliffs here, but I yeah. never explicitly decided on anything. You probably take some of the palette that B Dubs is using in his um and his castle. castle. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. He's building with dirt. And it looks good. <laughs> dirt and coal ore, and it looks fantastic. Dirt and coal ore and granite. He was mixing dirt and granite a lot. Yeah, dirt and granite looks incredible together. Whenever he uses it, anyway. Oh yeah, I should do. Uh, I think I should do the bottom of. Uh... Where was this? Noi on bottom gear. Bottom gear. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. So the uh, underside of this, like. Uh... Brown mushroom blocks with uh, granite and dirt mixed into it. Ooh, nice. And then oh, these patches where, uh, that where those are nice. absent, there's a lot of uh, brown uh, terracotta mm. mixed in. That's a good idea, the brown mushroom blocks. I haven't thought about using yeah, no. this. It's like that smooth silt. And, and this is the money shot toes. right here, okay? I like to think of my toes just sinking into it, you know? Look at this nice flowing river. Mm. Mm. That river makes me wet. Kevin. Mm. <laughs> Tonight on bottom gear. Jeremy, don't don't huff the exhaust. It's bad for you. Uh, just let me take a whiff. <gasps> oh look, some lava. Ooh. I'm I'm gonna stand inside of this person. Satisfying. Shovel, stop standing yeah. inside the gamer girls. No. What are you doing, Step Shovel? What are you doing, <laughs> Step Shovel? What are you doing, <laughs> Spectator? It's not on bottom gear. I throw a body pillow full of C4 to a preschool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's kind of salt the map. And James gets a third degree burns on his schlong after trying to hump a car exhaust. I've seen that picture. Hey, they actually they actually put that picture on Top Gear. It was one of the um <laughs> I went on the internet the other day and I found this. And it was literally the picture of the um <laughs> The guy with like the, the ransom letter on. looking things. <laughs> that was my favorite gag from Top Gear, where they literally just show like the most rancid photos they could find on the Please internet. Look in text voice. It's not on bottom gear. I throw a dead baby at the queen's face while masturbating. <laughs> it comes back to Syria and blows up a Tesco. And James sells his testicles on eBay to buy himself a Russian World War II era T-3484 tank. Oh, that's good, Fig. Yeah, Shovel, look at text voice. Still enjoy that meme. Yeah, got it. Guy. Guy. I went on the internet the other day and I found this. I also found this. Ooh, this looks like a lot of sand to collapse. It really is just pure pornography. Well, on bottom gear, I disembowel a critically endangered gorilla for my own amusement. James <laughs> teaches some children to commit tax fraud, and Richard tells the Grand Duke of Luxembourg to fuck off. Wait, Where are you finding these? Luxembourg I'm just looking at Google. Oh, he <laughs> bomb gear. Oh no! Botox gear. No bottom gear. Jeremy Clarkson gets physically assaulted by hermit challenges. 
Chopper crash in his Ferrari and the mumbo jumbo storage system. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's funny. Mumbo jumbo storage system. <laughs> James May blows up the Ren Pyre, triggering the Emperor Richard Hammond plays. Ducked out, but ends up letting all the ravages free. And the stick no joins the Mycelium resistance to commit several war crimes. No, these are so good. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight on Bottom Gear, a crushed macaque with a rock. James orders a total nuclear annihilation of the state of Bulgaria, and Holmans gets brutally run over by the stick in a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight on Bottom Gear, I roam the streets of Swindon Cairn of 14th century mace. James drops his wedding vegetable inside a bowling ball, and Holmans get hot boxes of Volkswagen Passat and fucking dies. <laughs> I found the one you were looking at. His wedding vegetable, I love it. <laughs> to not on bottom gear, I fly a Boeing 727 into a Canadian bank. James causes an economic recession by selling his 1999 Dodge Grand Caravan, and Richard uses a flashlight for the first time. Oh shit, there's a forest fire! Oh no! To not on oh, bottom no. gear. I detonate a bomb in a bus filled with preschool teachers. James forms a militia funded by selling his left testicle, and Richard gets <laughs> killed by an Albanian sniper trying to feed his family. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful to watch. Look at nature. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight on Bottom Gear, I convince Elon Musk to eject the entire population of India into space. Richard no. gets in trouble for illegally selling ketamine on Amazon, and James sits on the shifter <laughs> of a 2007 Honda Civic and is now in urgent care. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I think I found uh, the thumbnail for this video. It's gonna be just the burning tree. <laughs> is it gonna spread or is it only gonna be on this tree? Oh, Not on bottom no, here. I tree. commit vehicular manslaughter in 1972 Summer Olympics. Richard waterboards the president with the Italian mob, and James gets caught with tax evasion. <laughs> it's <been> really good. <laughs> <laughs> I found the Canadian bank one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking straight down in Google Images right now. <laughs> Tonight on Bottom Gear, I investigate the brutal slaughter of 57 innocent armpit fetishists. James oh, smuggles no. 120 gallons of liquid exhaust fume into the royal palace, <laughs> and Hammond uses a flamethrower to exterminate <laughs> the entire pigeon population of central London. Hey, would you like 10 liters of salad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Leaders of salad and a and paragraph. British television is did, different. Did Shovel get to experience uh, the Leaders of Salad? Shovel, did you hear the no. Leaders? No. Okay, Shovel, you gotta hear the Leaders of Salad. I will unmute the bot just for this one. Okay. That should be unmuted for me. I mean, I have it muted so you guys don't play copyright shit. I'm depending uh, on you, Kevin. Is like, uh, copyrighted as albums, but you could risk it. Eh, I don't think this one has an album in it, though. I'm down to listen to prank calls for the next several hours. Thanks for going oh, boy. Hey, I know what this is now. I'm good. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, you can? I can barely hear you up there. I'm at a pay phone. Oh, that's now. weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's so, coming through uh, a little weird, but I can hear you. Oh, you can? Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Three. Hey, how late? No, how late how... <laughs> so how late? Is it? <laughs> uh, we'll be open till midnight. I think you serve later. So what do you think of that? 
<laughs> That's negative. <laughs> can I place an order? Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, cool. What you need? Uh, okay, can I get a salad? Yeah. A dinner salad and then uh, with... Uh, large or small on the salad? Uh, large. Okay, can I get a... Gotcha. Salad? Yeah, sure. <coughs> and I need uh, a bunch of breadsticks, like 32 breadsticks. <laughs> 32 bread, like the garlic bread? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, as far as pizza... What kind of dressing did you want on that salad? Uh, Thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. Island. Okay. Swipe his butt like a credit card. Chug a 2020. What's that? As far as a Thousand Island? It's, it's just, it's like orange, you know? I don't really know how to... We don't have Hello, that. Oh, sure. Hello. Uh, what kind of prank calls, Splax? Okay. No, no dressing. Oh, or if you, you know, put something on the Wow, side, exciting. You got to experiment around. Okay. Experiment no, around. No <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sound good? Or, I, or mean, I could totally do that. Side, yeah. I can experiment wings. around. So they need some wings. Wings? What you know? kind of wings would and, you like? Uh, wings. Um, wings. Let's see. I need some wings. I need wings. Uh, wings, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> barbecue kind of thing. Barbecue. And then I need uh, about bone 40, bone 60 of those. Um... And then I need about 40, 60 of those. 60 wings, uh, barbecue. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't understand what you're saying. Found your phone's drinks. doing something really weird. Really weird. I'm at a pay phone. I'm on my way oh, there. Boy. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Um, found yeah, I, I, and we don't found do wings by number anyways. They're by really weight. Really weird. I'm, I'm at a pay phone. I'm on my way like there. I'll be there in 15 wings. minutes. 10 pounds. Um, yeah, found 10 drinks. <laughs> 10 pounds. What's that? 10 pounds. <laughs> 10, pounds of pounds. About 10 pounds of wings. And then I need about uh, 8 pounds of soda. 10 pounds. <laughs> 10 pounds of soda. Are you sure you don't want 10 pounds of soda? And I need about uh, 8 pounds of soda. A liter, liter, liter of cola? Yeah, a liter of cola. <laughs> <laughs> Six pounds of yeah, we're definitely not doing anything. Yeah, can I get two miles I mean, of spaghetti? I'm doing ten pounds of fucking pizza. <laughs> pizza, pepperoni pizza. <laughs> I tell you what, come in. Kevin, can you link me this channel? I can barely. What? Can you link me this channel? Huh? Uh, it's not really a channel. <laughs> it's <laughs> more of um, uploads of this guy. Uh, it is from LongmontPotionCastle.com. He's getting more money. Okay, let me get a leader of salad. I need a leader of salad. I need a leader of salad. I need a leader of salad. I'll be there with Anderson and the next 15 minutes. Yes, and the rest. And a paragraph. And I'll be there with Anderson and the next 15 minutes. And a paragraph. Right. Um, I have no idea. I'm, I'm gonna have to. You're gonna What's have to order here. I can't. I can't tell what you're saying. What's the freaking subtotal up there, Cal? <laughs> I saw that shovel. <laughs> Was it something I said? <laughs> Is this something I said? Help me out. I just got out of prison. You know, I'm like, looking forward to this. I just got out of prison. Yeah, come in. Make that order here. <laughs> Are these my boobies? A massive fucking titty? My super stuffed milkers? Shovel. <laughs> my hunker docker. Doinky monkeys. Uh, here's another one of my favorites. This one's called The Wizard of War. Wizard of War. 
Uh, I wanted to trade um, some like putty. Putty? Uh huh. If that's acceptable. I don't know that I would have any use for putty. What kind of putty are you talking about? Chewable. Yeah, Chewable. Don't think <laughs> Hang up. How about a zebra? A zebra. Yeah, I'll clean up after him. Huh? I would have to clean up after him. <laughs> um, how about like something like bronze statuary or hummels or <laughs> any pottery or... Well, that's really what I'm trying to sell is just to the honey. I have some souvenir spoons or... Uh, <laughs> you know, mugs and stuff. Rattling his bones. Yeah. Rattle oh. me bones. Well, if it isn't Splax, my brother. You guys are related? Yes. Wow, you're the second pair of siblings we have on the server. Hog. Shovel, I will murder you. <laughs> Sorry, in the words of. Mike Myers. I'll get you, and I'll make it look like a bloody accident. In Minecraft, in Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft Steve! Wait, wait who, who the hell is related on here except for Kevin and Joko? Steve main controller. Uh, Storm and Caliph. Ah, oh, yeah. They're brother and sister. I'm, I'm basically like fourth cousins with Fig. How? Premature ejaculation is just I don't know. speed running sex. <laughs> I've already made that joke. I know, I'm on your Twitter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Toys are tool assistant speed run. Oh, your yeah. mom is easy mode. Porn's the trailer. Role play Here's your latest the funny boss, you tweet, mistook. Drugs are the shader pack. STDs are bad game design. They're bugs. The, <laughs> the Orgies <laughs> DLC multiplayer. Ah, Pregnancy cool. is the sequel. Oh my. Wait. Shovel. No. You're bi weekly funny Vosky to it. I like Vosky. Shovel. We Luna. stand Vosky here, don't we, folks? I don't know. <laughs> no, he stands is. Luna. <laughs> I went on Joko's Twitter account. I forgot he had that as his uh, header image. What I gotta it? find the full image. The uh, no libtards neon sign. But <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a good. That's a good. Header, that's a good header image. We hate the libtards, don't we, folks? Here it is. Here it is. All right. Uh, I'll place it in text voice. I found the full image. <laughs> it's such a good image. You know what I can't stand, though? It's people who genuinely believe that Joe Biden is somehow left-wing. He's a centrist. Yeah. And that's on a good Mr. day. I don't think anybody physically is a left-wing. That's just not possible. We destroyed it, and now the plane's uh -huh. falling. Uh -huh. Dear God, help. <laughs> No libtards. Warning, you are entering a redneck area. You may encounter American Excuse flags. Excuse me, sir, this is a blue neck area? 
the Lord's Prayer and country music. This is a Travel blue neck area. At your own risk. This is a blue neck area, Kevin. Here we say the Lord's Prayer, but only in Swahili. Swahili. And the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Figure you aware that the, yeah, split, the Lord's Player in Swahili is the title theme of Civilization IV? No. But I've also never played yeah. Civilization IV, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, hey, let's play it. What? I said let's like like let's play that theme. Oh. <laughs> Hope you've got the bot unmuted. I have it muted. <coughs> We're gonna hear some Swahili. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know this one. <laughs> there. <laughs> I would suggest you know. I want you just to see what you do what they do. Well, I might just have to copy this all in Minecraft books by hand. Kevin, when are you going to do your uh, Twitch stream playing Civ 4? Uh, I don't play Civ. When am I going to get a uh, upload of time? Point of view. view, you have never felt the touch of a woman. Ooh, new Amp Lemon video. <laughs> oh, is that oh, really? Isn't that, the, isn't that the image of the EU4 starting screen? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're a dick. <laughs> I love that meme. But it's, I mean, it's true, but it's also like you're a dick. <laughs> yeah, new implement video. New ethos lab. Wow. 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 We from airline food. What I want to know is where's the caveman? <laughs> Oh, Shovel, I saw Scar's episode where he found that Ethos free glass shulker. <laughs> That's so devious. Somebody in the comments convinced him to do that, actually. That's so epic. 
<laughs> oh man. Aoife I... really spices up hermit crab. <laughs> and Grian especially. We stam B double O here. B dubs is incredible. That's cool. You know who I feel is underappreciated? Who? Doc. Yeah. I haven't watched Doc in a while, I should. I haven't watched Doc since he was on Minecraft. Everyone's favorite German guy. Well, his girlfriend is having a day. kid, so he hasn't been around for a while. Oh, okay, that's cool. Whose is it? <laughs> hey, Karen. What it must be like to be the He's kid. He's dating a Karen, literally. What it must is be like to be the kid in school who has to say to the class. Her name is Karen, yeah. My dad plays video games for a living. My dad's a YouTuber. <laughs> I feel like that either makes you pretty cool or pretty uncool. Uh, I mean, not sure which. Knowing kids, it's, he would just get bullied for it. It's pretty mainstream now, though. I don't really know if anyone would care. Maybe a couple years ago. He, yeah, but like, knowing kids, they will bully him for it. It's just how kids are. Well, they'll bully you for anything. Yeah. Your dad's not a YouTuber? You. Your dad's a YouTuber? You. Your dad's a Twitch streamer? You. I had a soul, then I was bullied. Your mom has an OnlyFans? What's the link? <clears throat> you know, I did have creativity, and then uh, school destroyed it. Same. And now I'm a slave to the government. It was a mix of school. Yay. It was a mix of school and parenting. Oh, you should have just got rid of your parents. Yeah, in hindsight, yeah. It's a lot more ominous when I say it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Bit murdery. There's a tall tree on that, that mountain there. You want to cut the tall trees? No, I'm going to leave the tall tree. Did you like my Hotel Rwanda reference? Oh. Uh, no, because I've never, I've never seen Hotel Rwanda, actually. It's worth seeing. It is worth a watch, yeah. I, I actually saw it, as, uh, I saw it as part of a world history. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll put it down on my list of things that I should do, but inevitably will never uh, do. Yeah. It's kind of what my watch list ends up being as well. I don't blame you. Yeah, you should try this game. Yeah, sure. I'll put it down the list of other games I need to try, and I'll get to it in like 20 years. Yeah. I grab food real quick. I mean, it took four weeks of convincing to get me to play Among Us. Hmm. That's actually pretty clever. Ethos, um, mining with respawn anchors. What? Oh, using them for explosions. Is their blast radius more powerful than TNT or something? Ooh, this is a nice skill. Yeah. Look at this here mountain, Kevin. He's clearing out almost a 7x7. Seven seven. Wow. 7.7? Look at this Joko laughing in the background. No, that's dad. Same same noise, though. Are they as equally stupid? Yeah, I think he's watching Hallmark. Ew. Yeah, I hate Hallmark. I just watch wholesome things like anime. Or you eat cereal. <laughs> eat cereal on the eat, couch. Eat cereal and lie. Eat two bowls Hot of and wholesome Dale. cereal and drink the milk ASMR. God. Jimmy Carter explaining how to drink milk. I mean, how to eat cereal. <laughs> how to drink cereal and eat milk. 
Remember, it's milk, then cereal, then bowl. <laughs> that is the order in which you put these things together. Remember, it's bowl, then weed, then fire. Was it you who sent me the uh, the picture of like uh, deep fried deep weed fried leaves? marijuana? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the good. devil's Americans lettuce. Just want one thing. I swear, in like a few years, I'm gonna go to a fucking country fair and I'm gonna see deep fried marijuana. Deep fried devil's lay. Marijuana salad. How far off is this? I can't tell. Is this a quarter of a pixel? Oh, let me take a look. Let me, let me take a look, see. Or is that an eighth? Let me take a gander. I think that Twitch, might be a Twitch.tv slash U Realms. Uh, that might be still an eighth. Oh, um, it's kind of hard to tell. You know, I, I I forgot that the first time you had the uh, the offset that it wasn't just a full pixel. Yeah, it's um, like it's a, it's only like a portion of a pixel up until you pass the one million. I think that is a quarter. I'm thinking so too. But I'm also not 100% sure. Hmm. Huh. It's kind of hard to... Know. Oh, well. I was trying to determine whether I had passed uh, 130-something thousand. Sorry, I don't quite have my powers of two memorized. Whoa, you're point one percent there. Whoa. Whoa, sitting on a chair. What? Whoa, lemon on a pear. Uh, Kaz determined through uh, Pythagorean theorem that I, because it's going to a corner, therefore it's a triangle. Is an extra five million blocks to travel. Mm -hmm. Square root uh, of two. Fig, did you see the click hole publication I sent you? No. It's a blog post titled The Time I Spent on a Commercial Whaling Ship Totally Changed My Perspective on the World by Ishmael. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. Chapter one Loomings. <laughs> Loomings? Lemmings. Call me Ishmael. Some years ago, never mind how long precisely, having little or no money in my purse and nothing particular to interest me on shore, I thought I would sail about a little and see what the watery part of, and, and see the watery part of the world. It is a way I have of driving off the spleen and regulating the circulation. Wasn't Wait, that this thing this about living just jumping off cliffs fake? This is literally the entire this is text. A Moby Dick. Of Moby Dick. Yeah. <laughs> it is an incredibly long publication. They literally just posted all of Moby Dick. Yep. Uh, that's, that's epic. All 135 chapters. Still better journalism than most publications. Facts. Alright, I'm gonna just go pog off in Pepega. I love you. What does that mean? Aw, I don't know. I'll figure it out on the way. Are you leaving me? It means I love yes. you, dipshit. Oh. It is waxing late, and I've got, like, uh, 25 Word documents open that I need to organize. What? Okay, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just copy-paste them all into the same document? Oh, and you only have one heck. document to organize. So whenever I'm at work, I like uh, get all these ideas and stuff. Never when I'm at home, but whenever I'm at work and I'm doing something, I have like all these ideas and I write them out in my phone. And I've got like 20 documents on my phone and then like several other random ones. <laughs> I just title them like random one, random two, random three. And uh, 
When they get too long, I just start a new one and send the previous one to myself via Gmail. So I'm copying them all over to my laptop so I can go through them easier. Eventually, stuff starts to coagulate and I uh, get like and stories. And this is how you start. Stuff. This is how you start things like the library. Yeah, basically. What was your original base idea for the server? Uh, uh what was it? Because you had something else you wanted to do. I think I was just gonna set up a spawn and like build multiple little shacks. Oh yeah, well. I was just going to be building a whole bunch of stuff around spawn, but then like my shulkers became bigger than my ender chest. So I wanted to build the ship to house my storage, but I didn't include any storage room in the ship. So I uh, decided to build a library, but that wasn't my base. So then the library became big enough that I was like, oh, it might as well be my base. So I put my base there. That's an amazing sequence of events to arrive at a cathedral. I do have the next base planned out for the next world, though. I've already got my ideas. Prior to coming up with a, a, a Japanese castle as an idea, I did posit the idea of making like a Mayan ruins. Hmm. Which require planning... me to clear out the jungle. I'm still planning on the sort of LARPing the Imaginos mythos from the Blue Oyster Cult albums using my alt account since uh, it's styled after... The name Desdenova comes from Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah, you, you show me the song. Oh no, there's a skeleton. <clears throat> Take that, fiend. So, <sighs> I'm thinking about building the lighthouse from the song Magna of Illusion and then the... um. Uh, Grandpa's Mansion as well from Magna of Illusion. And then uh, having the library there, because it mentions that there's a library full of old and mysterious books in the song, so I figure that would be perfect since I want a smaller sized library on the next server, but still like enough to house all of the books. Nonsense, we're going to build Wan Shi Tong's library underneath the desert. As much as I would love to do that, I hate mining to fill it in because I always build it a little bit too small and then I get an idea that's bigger so I have to mine a little bit more and then I have to mine a little bit more Ooh, it's just annoying I'd rather build in open spaces oh why uh, I certainly enjoy well I didn't really I enjoyed what I did after I dug up the the island I hated digging the island though that was torture yeah, you. your island's big enough underneath that. I you thought you're kind anything. of quiet. It's got a lot of room in there. I still need to fill mm -hmm. up, like... Hello? Uh, Hi, okay. Wi-Fi. Hi, Wi-Fi. Hello? Hello, Wi-Fi. Hello. Hi there, how are you? Hi, I think, are you actually streaming? Yeah. He is. Oh, what are you streaming? Walk into the corner of our lands. What? He's walking to the corner of Farlands and Minecraft being on the block to the corner store. He's walking to the corner of Farlands. Some soda pop. A big anometry well, 97. I don't really want to be on Twitch, so goodbye. Oh, uh, why bye? Good night. He's not on Twitch. Yeah, I'm yeah he's on Twitter. No, I'm on Do you think if I stream Town of Salem, they'll come back? You see, this is why you don't say when you're streaming. Splax, that's, that's very rude and also illegal. Wait, what? Oh, I'm all about the illegal. I mean, I'm. I mean, the information is there. I'm perfectly aware that you like record every time we do Gmod. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm all about the illegal. <laughs> but yeah, don't say anything you wouldn't want your mother to hear. Hi, mom. Hi, Dad. You have a nice cock, you know that? Hi, FBI. Well, why didn't oh, the FBI let us know that they're recording? <laughs> <laughs> the FBI hears everything. Yikes. <laughs> Splax, does a typical Whoa. episode of Gmod nice get, like, five views? The FBI even knows your dreams. <laughs>
Let me open up Splax's YouTube channel on my phone real quick. <laughs> I, did get, I did get a no it's just Splax, I think. I I did get a nice notification from him earlier that he uploaded Gmod from 927-2020. Yeah. Oh, he's got 57 subscribers. Wow. It is 9.27 p.m. exactly right now. <laughs> Actually, it's 10.27. The only oh, thing that uh, I see... Excuse me, sir. The only thing that I see Splax uploading is just Gmod, and then Bridges, and then Tesseract UHC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I... I recorded a little bit of the last UHC, but I didn't even bother uploading it because it was just shit. It shouldn't be illegal for uh, you to record people without their consent if they're in public. It's like the definition. No, of this is not in public. Is, yeah, is this public or is it not public? This is in public. Is it? This is actually the Roman Forum. <laughs> oh. Cool. This is actually the Septuagint. Don't, don't say Roman Forum. I'll start foaming at the mouth. My Roman body is the temple. Yeah, start, or start for, forming. Forming. There's a joke there somewhere. Thanks, man. If the good lord had wished me not to stand outside your window peeking through with a camera, he wouldn't have invented Venetian blinds. What are Venetian blinds? I don't know. <laughs> Google! Yeah, there. I put my YouTube channel in text voice, so... If, if you ever want to find something really out of context and use it to cancel someone here, I've got plenty of hours of footage. Ooh. Oh, cancel oh, it's, it's me, those, Father. Uh, it's, those, um, it's those blinds, Fig. It's the blinds everyone has. Literally everyone with the drawstring and the little uh, panels on them that... Is it the one that opens. goes like... Yeah, those ones. Okay. Yeah, the one with the, the twisty side thing to side. and the pull string. Yeah. yeah the I one have... everyone uses. That's just what it's called, the ones, I guess. The ones that just, you know, fall off occasionally. Yeah, those cheap plastic ones. Yeah, my, mine do that sometimes. See, I have my, I have my blinds open to my balcony, and uh, anyone could just look in there if they want to. The thing is, though, I'm never in my living room, so it doesn't matter. That's cool. I'll be over soon. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta climb over the fucking gates. Yeah. Climb over the pearly gates. <laughs> oh, this is the old Terraria thing. It's cool. Golf with your friends. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna subscribe to Splax, but I'm already subscribed to him. I'm already subbed. Whoa, yeah. whoa, what Splash. the hell? You splash this you need just 20 collapsed. more subs to get 77 subscribers. No, no, we need to get him to 69. And then no, anytime no, no, someone no. Else nice. subscribes, he splash 77. No, no, no. If he gets to 78 subscribers, he he's going to delete his channel. You heard it here first. <laughs> How many subscribers do I have? I think I have 18. Is your is your picture? 19! Pog! I need to make another um uh celebration video. Are you gonna make a celebration video every subscriber count and go up? Every five subscribers, yes. My last right. one, what was it? Uh three years ago, 15 subscribers special. Alright, Kevin, I have an idea. Four subscribers every three years. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good ratio. Kevin, I make one for every power of ten. Every power of ten. It's a ten hundred thousand. Isn't that thousand. what most people do? <laughs> hmm. That is, I can make this stupider. <laughs> every prime number. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I mean, at least after a while, it. Uh, Get easier. Mm. I suppose. It'd take a long time, though. I'm really surprised Wi Fi didn't question why I was walking to the Farlands. He's like, oh, I don't want to mm. be on Twitch. And he left. He didn't question that I was the... walking to the edge. 
just the big thing to do, I guess. <laughs> Maybe you just accept that I'm completely insane. Yes. Yes. Right, right away. Sorry, Sorry, my buttons were stacked on top of each other, so when I hit the yes, when it hit the no. <laughs> I love the coloration on the, um, see? I, I'm not saying color, I'm saying color. Wow, you're- Are you you're, proud of me? You're improving, I'm very proud of you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm breaking the conditioning. But uh, the coloration on the um, Minecraft beta um, LPs. What do you mean, the, like the trees? The vinyl records, the vinyl records that I got. Oh. They're all red with like streaks in them. I was looking up, uh, I went down the rabbit hole the other day of like all the rare types of vinyl that are out there. Like there's some vinyls that have a hundred grooves going in, into them in the spiral. And there's some, there's, there's one cool vinyl that has eight grooves and um, each one is a different horse race with a different outcome. And uh, everyone makes their bet beforehand, then plays the record and it'll pick one of the random eight spirals going in. Oh, wow. Okay. Really cool idea. But then there's like these really crazy ones. Like there's liquid filled vinyl, Jack White and some other people. Have met. Uh, Joko said that Jack White has a two RPM <laughs> vinyl record. I don't know how on earth you would find a player to play that. Yeah. At two RPMs. That's very, very specific. <laughs> It's like every 30 seconds it makes a full revolution. And uh, anyway, there's some liquid filled ones. And I found one uh, rare one filled with blood, actual human blood, like what the band member, one of the band members, like drained some of his blood and then filled like a hundred records with his blood. It's just like two uh, thin record uh, vinyl sheets like glued together. And uh, <laughs> some of them, the glue wasn't like uh, sealed properly. So it like turned all brown and coagulated. But some of them, it's still red and uh, <laughs> juicy. <laughs> yeah. One band, one band peed in their um, vinyl. <laughs> And uh, one band uh, cut off a bunch of their hair mm -hmm. and put it in like the molten vinyl before it was pressed. So all the records just have hair sticking out of them. What the hell? Ugh. You have to shave the record before playing it. Otherwise, the needle will skip on the hairs sticking out. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Gimmicks, I guess. Gets attention. <laughs> One band, one band was incredible. Uh, for seven dollars, you can buy the vinyl LP, but it's sawed in half. Mm. <laughs> and uh, if you want to actually listen to it, you have to buy the download file for six hundred and sixty-six dollars. They did that as a meme, didn't they? Yeah, it's just one big meme. That's amazing. Uh, there's some really cool ones though. Really neat gimmicks out there. Um, some fans will uh, put like something in the um, circle in the middle where it goes over and over. I think the Beatles had one where it's just continuous applause, which is pretty hilarious. <clears throat> uh, I think Jack White has one where you have to peel up the label sticker to find a secret little uh, track underneath the sticker. I love God. things like that. Another ocean. I think there's one. There might be one where it's not a spiral, but it's just like a few hundred circles. Downward spiral. <laughs> it might be like a sound effect one. I don't know. <laughs> there's some interesting ones. Uh, there's <laughs> there's one where it comes with several holes in the middle and uh, instructions to. Uh, drill mo more holes as you see fit. What? Instead what? of the center hole to place on the uh, <laughs> little pole sticking up on the turntable. 
That is hilarious. It comes with several off-center holes and uh, instructs you to drill more as you see fit. <sighs> uh, what were some other crazy ones? There's some really interesting ones. I was watching a video. Um, this is guy on YouTube, but uh, apparently RCA tried to put video on vinyl. And what they were doing was they were doing like um, the ultrasonic wavelengths or whatever cut into the vinyl. Um, and you'd have to spin it real fast and they'd have to get it real close together. But uh, it would basically encode the information of like um, drawing the image on the screen as well as having the <laughs> sound in color. They were actually able to come up with a working prototype, I think, for like color video with sound on a vinyl record, but it wasn't doable. So what they did was they had a vinyl record where the groove didn't have any vibration in it, but it had like um, a special magnetic sensor in the needle itself oh, that weird. didn't pick up the uh, vibration, but it picked up like these uh, metal flakes magnetic filings inside the record itself sort of like a cd but instead of laser guided it was like groove guided oh jello hoka have, have i got a book for you kevin the problem was any of the minutest dust particles would like really mess it up so they had this special oh, wire design they had this special like case design where you slide the case in and it takes the record out of the case in the machine and then you pull out the case it got so complicated and by that time, like laser disc was already a thing, so they spent all this time and money going bankrupt trying to make vinyl records that played video. <laughs> it, like destroyed the company. Based. Based. But uh it was, it was an interesting concept, and there's some players out there, but it was really expensive. You're an interesting concept. <sighs> it's super rare, rare. You're a concept. You're Joko. a construct. You're a social concept. <laughs> Joku, you are intangible. Disappear. I gotta eat supper, I guess. Recede into the loam from whence you came. The loam? <laughs> the loam. The loop. What's the definition for loam? I, uh, I came out of sandy clay like loam. some sort of soil. A fertile soil of clay and sand containing hummus. <laughs> hummus? Yeah, I heard that. I heard it was pronounced humus. Humus. In that context. Oh, humus. Yeah, with one M. Sorry, that's one M. Yeah, two. hummus is something completely different. <laughs> that had me confused for a hummus. second there. <laughs> okay. I was like, why are they putting hummus? I guess it might be a good fertilizer, you know? Plant base. Hummus. Base hummus. cringe. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat I'm some I'm personally food. a big fan of humus hummus. Humus hummus? No, oh, it's humus. illegal. Humorous hummus? Humus. Oh, humor. Never mind. Yeah. Humus, I'm proud of, I'm proud an organic it component you're... of soil formed by the decomposition of leaves and other plant material. So technically, you could have hummus humus. Oh my right? god. Yes, but no. Fig, there's the name for your uh, live stream. Oh, I was already gonna name this one one liter of salad. Humorous humus uh, human liter hummus. Of salad, that's good. Well, I guess you could make humus from one liter of salad, right? I mean, I mean, right? Yeah, because salad's mostly lettuce. Yeah. But the thing is, I hate lettuce because it tastes bad, but also has no nutritional value. Whenever I want to go, I hate Wi-Fi. It tastes leave. bad and has no nutritional value. I hate Wi-Fi. He joined for three seconds and left. I missed him. Yeah, he was scared of being broadcasted to all of your two Twitch viewers. I'm pretty sure that's just you people. You're one YouTube yeah. subscriber. I'm one of them. I don't know who the other is. Shoot oh, man. I am. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, on... Yeah, Wi-Fi wi was scared of being broadcast to me and Kevin. Oh, you mean on Twitch? Are you on Twitch? Yeah. Pog. Now, Kevin was referring to being my only YouTube subscriber. Oh, that's Pog. Yeah. Are you doing a giveaway? No. <laughs> uh... 
<laughs> I just reheard that on the Twitch stream. Funny. I absolutely. Hey, XQC's playing Among Us. Isn't like everyone and their mother playing Among Us? Who is? XQC. Everybody's mothers. There's a Fungus Among Us. There's a Chungus Among Us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a fun oh, yeah. guy. I'll grow on Oh, you. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can only sleep at night. <laughs> Don't mind at night. So I've got an idea for like a Halloween video for my channel that might be like a series I could do called Kevin's Curiosities. And I Is, just like review stuff that review weird stuff that I own because I own a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, you do. Tell like a, a backstory. I've got a, um, uh, a box full of makeup. What? Why? What do you do with it? No, but hear me out, it gets weirder. It's like from the early 1900s, maybe even 1800s, probably early 1900s. And it's from a funeral home that went out of business. It's a mortician's makeup kit. So it's like the makeup that goes on dead bodies. Oh yes, they don't look dead. Yeah, pretty much. I've been to some like funeral home and casket conventions and there's some crazy stuff there. Those people have the most morbid sense of humor. I, I love funeral directors. I mean, I guess you got it when you, you're working with death all the time. Yeah. My family used to sell caskets to funeral homes in the area for like a little while. We don't do it anymore. I used to like a home business. Hello. Hello, Flash. Hey, Flash. What's up? What's up, Derek? Wait. <laughs> you just told all of YouTube that. His name isn't Derek, though. Well, they're not going to believe it's not. They're going to think you're just covering now. <laughs> My mouse Dude. looks like a spaceship. I can't believe you doxed his <laughs> alias like that. You're kind of ageist, I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Flash, have His you posted... power level is rising. No. Flash, have you posted anything recently on Facebook so I can go angry react to it? I have. Fig, have you posted anything on Facebook recently so I can go care react to it? No, so Mystic can care react to it because he does that to literally everything. No, usually I wow. Yeah, wow. and I'm just like, why are you wowing to this one? Unless it's gripping food with force, in which case I'll either sad or angry at <laughs> <laughs> Gripping food with force. Food sports. It's, it's such a great thing. It's so stupid, but it's it's funny because it's stupid. It upsets I me. I better go uh, eat some food with force. I want you to like bite down with as like much force as like a shark onto like a some just random food. You might shatter your teeth, but it'll be funny. Aww. I'll just grow some more like a shark. If there's one thing I learned as a kid, it's that if I lose teeth, I'll grow new ones. I'll stick some fingers in my mouth to play the ivories. I know exactly what you're talking about, and I hate you. I hate him. What? I think the, I look, took a look at their online listings. Who is that? Okay. Oh, it's Probably somebody that's flesh. Because the other one that, he, that you heard him say, you have to go among different drive to different stores, track your mileage and your expenses. I think you just want to work with the animals and be a cashier. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Mystic, are you ready to start the click venture? Further discuss a plan. Maybe just apply for yeah, that. sure. It sets like low 15 columns, you know what I mean? That's. Alright. <clears throat> You are a single-celled organism. Can you evolve into a duck? Okay, so... Huh. I see we already need to use text voice. You live on this. The molten earth. I like you that. are on the thing. All right, I'm on this molten earth. You are this. Oh God. Oh, that's that's a good image. Yep, I know exactly what that is. You're alive. All right. All right. That's that's about halfway there. I'm alive. Here are your options. You know, life is me, or nah. <laughs> What does that mean? All right, option one. Yes, great. You're alive. <laughs> and you live here. <laughs> it's a volcanic vent. All right, that's good. You are a single-celled organism that has had a vision of a duck. You don't know how to do it? But it's still billions of years ago, so you're optimistic. How will you proceed? Will you daydream about the possibilities, or will you die off? I will daydream about the possibilities. You imagine your descendants, and their descendants, and all their exploits and achievements in the world. Then, a vivid image comes to you. You surrender yourself to the vision. You think about this. Ah, a duck. It's perfect. So it is resolved. You will be this thing someday. Child of the child of your distant descendant will wake up and it will be this. It will be a duck. You are a single celled organism that has had a vision of a duck. You don't know how to do it. But it's still billions of years ago, so you're optimistic. How will you proceed? Will you adapt yourself to the theme of under the sea, or will you make a protein? I'm gonna make a protein. Nice. Good idea. You try out making a protein. <laughs> this is your protein. It's just a fucking generic shape. <laughs> Whoa, that's actually a good protein you made. You have a knack for this. Would you like to make another protein or do something else? Let's make another protein. You make another protein! Oh my god. You were born to do this. The joy you get the joy you get from making proteins causes one of your organelles to contract and then expand. And it's the greatest feeling you've ever known. Will you keep making proteins forever? Or give up this crazy pipe dream and do something else? I want to make another protein. But do you want to keep doing it forever or do something else? Uh, let's do something else. All right, your options are to, to adapt yourself to the theme of Under the Sea or go back to making proteins. Adapt yourself to the theme of Under the Sea. Over the next billion years, you really go all out theming your genetic buildup around the idea of Under the Sea. Pretty soon, you look like this. <laughs> Trilobite? <laughs> nice going. What next? Go for size, go for depth, or go for style. Style. You go for style, and it pays off. You spend the next era cruising around the ocean as this incredible fish. <laughs> All right, I'm turning to a fish. We're getting there. All right, do you go for size, go for depth, or go right for the duck? Well... 
Okay, so we're the fish, right? We're close to ducks, and by close, I mean not even close. But you're getting there. I'm a fish, but I'm not the correct kind of fish. Come a long way from being a single-celled organism. Right, but first I need to turn into a lobe fin fish. Um, Why that? So lobe fin fishes, like uh, coelacanths, uh, are the ancestors of tetrapods, which were the first uh, creatures to walk on land. I see. It has to do specifically with the way their fins act as like legs with their movement patterns. Alright, go for size, go for depth, or go right for the duck. I'm gonna go for, uh, gonna go for size. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Alright. Your body swells, and soon you're this huge thing. A crab? Yeah. You're a crab. I feel like that crab is the same size as that fish. Alright. No, you. Shut up. <clears throat> go for size again, go for style, or go for depth. I'm gonna go for oh man, this is tough. Let's go for size. Alright, you spend another few million years dying whenever you are small and breeding when you're large. Soon you are this healthy creature. This is something ridiculous. What the hell is this? Oh. Alright, this looks better. Okay. Somewhere along the way you lost your legs. Yeah. I mean, I did turn from a fish to an arthropod back to a fish, which is pretty impressive on its own. All right, do you want to do you want to boldly venture onto land or go all in on size? I want to boldly venture onto land. All right. Wow, this is a big moment for you. Forsaking everything, you take one last gulp of water and burst through the surface and onto land. Your fins fall away, your gills wither, and the land becomes your home as you become. Oh, I'm a lizard. Uh, was that a frog? It's a frog. A, a lizard who is almost a frog. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what that you is. You look kind of scaly, though. I'd imagine I'm some kind of like early amphibian. All right, so we're getting yeah. somewhere. We're now to amphibians. So we're out of the we're out of the All water right. partly. All right. Do you want to boldly venture back into the water, become trees, or become a walking land creature? Which honestly, it looks like you already are. Let's become a walking land creature. Why could you? How are you able to turn from a frog into a tree? <laughs> Listen, that's not mm. the point. All right, let's, let's become a walking land creature. All right, you are a plain flavored land creature. All right, this looks like an early mammal. In fact, I've seen I, that before on Wikipedia. I am happy with this. I will become another plain flavored land creature, or I now think that beaks look good. I think that beaks look good. All right. As a species, you decide that beaks look good and that everyone should have beaks. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. All right, we're getting close. Beaks are mandatory. Many millions of years pass. Eventually, you look like this. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm looking like a bird now. All right. Ah, uh, yes, I'm a duck at last. This is a duck. There is no denying that what I am is the very definition of a duck. Or, no, I am not a duck. I must keep evolving. No, I'm not a duck. I must keep evolving. <laughs> you keep evolving day in and day out. But it seems to be of no use. <laughs> no, an ostrich? <laughs> this is the wrong size to be a duck. New image. This is the wrong shape to be a duck. This looks like an emu. <laughs> this. Or what? Is more Michael, more like Michael Phelps the swimmer than uh. it is like a duck. So did I instead bypass the duck and go directly to Michael Phelps? It starts to seem that way. What kind of you evolution? look around, and it seems everyone has the same idea. All trying to be a duck, no one Pig. quite getting it right. You turned into Michael Phelps. See, 
Meanwhile, just look at me. This isn't working. Alright, would you like to form a symbiotic relationship with Henry? I don't know who Henry is. Um, or would you like to pray to God to make you into a duck? I would like to pray to God to make me into a duck. Alright. God hears you and mutters some magic words. Look at yourself now. Awesome! You're practically there. Becoming a duck from here should be an absolute layup. You are pretty close there. Isn't that just a duck? I will just evolve a tiny bit more. No! What happened? Somehow you took things too far and you evolved into an ostrich. In case you weren't aware, this creature is a scam. Posturing is an upgraded premium duck that in practice lacks any of the charm of the bare bones original. You've been had. You did not manage to evolve into a duck. Well. Well, fuck. I feel scammed. Would you like to start over? Um, start over? Yeah. Let's go on to a different one. That wasn't as, you know, exhilarating as I thought it would it be. It wasn't what you hoped it would be? No, I was hoping it'd be a little bit more narrative. Not just, All right. hey, randomly click these and you turn into random creatures. Which, to be fair, I guess I should have expected. Let's continue down the list. You're a taxi driver. You make it in New York City? Can you keep up a conversation with your dad? Sharpen your knives. Can you beat the world's greatest chef in a cooking competition? <laughs> Have a low-key forest adventure. Can you keep an eye on the Pope for just five minutes? You are the world's greatest computer hacker. Got symptoms? Diagnose your bad body here. You're a bird. Do you have what it takes to survive in the wild? Uh, you are the bouncer at the trendiest bar in town. Can you keep trouble out? Dufton, a Shakespearean tragedy. Build your ideal boyfriend with our boyfriend builder. The lives and loves of the ER. The red dust of Harmony Gulch, a tale of the Wild West. Explore the many wonders of the carnival. Nice. Plan your son's funeral. <laughs> nice. In the shadow of two fangs, a harrowing tale of vampiric terror. You arrive in America. Oh, no. Stranded. The true tale of a shipwrecked sailor. DJ this party. Join this cult. Can you find the mole in this spy organization? Can you find the mole in this Minecraft organization? It's your first day at a new high school. Can you become popular? Let's do this one. All right, here we go. Today is your first day at Pike Central High School. It represents a much needed fresh start for you, as all your life you've been a nobody. <laughs> Quiet and lacking self-confidence, you've more or less been invisible to your peers, but today you have a chance to change that. You're at a new school in a new state, and you can, you can be whoever you want to be. <laughs> the past is behind you. Believe in yourself, and you can become high school royalty. Would you like to take a deep breath and march boldly through the front door? Walk through the door the regular way, 
Or go lie down on the grass instead. I want to go lie down on the grass. Like Alright. This is great. Much better than trying to meet new people. Gosh, it's really beautiful outside. Would you like to go to school or keep lying on grass? I'll go to school now. <laughs> you know, it's impressive the things you can do with just three bullets. For example, re uh, reunite the Beatles. Wow, school. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Kevin. Yeah? That was good. Thanks. My dad just told me that at the dinner table. Wow, school. A place where knowledge happens. How school, exciting it is to be in your happens. new stomping grounds. You've been told to go to the atrium, where your orientation buddy will be waiting to show you around the school. Are you Kevin? It's me, or Mole, your orientation buddy, Ow. he says. Yikes. The school has chosen me to be your new best friend. Your world is now Ormul's world. I will show you all the things. I will teach you the nice places to go to, go to think about math. On weekends, we will have sleepovers at my duplex, and we will explore my Legos. It is Kevin and Ormul from here on out. I have waited for this day. Come with me now, please. I will show Kevin all of the things and the people. We are best friends. Would you like to go with Ormul? Or tell Ormul that you'd rather just figure things out on your own? I'm gonna tell him I'd rather figure things out on my own. Does that have anything to do with his incredibly annoying voice? Yes. <laughs> okay. Absolutely it does. I understand. No one wants to be friends with Ormul. I hope you have a nice time at school, Kevin. <laughs> Man, Kevin's a real Thanks dick. Thanks to Ormul. You thank Ormul for know, being right? so understanding and leave. I will be right back. I need to go use the bathroom. Okay, have boom. Fun. Don't fall in. Crit Don't idea. think of me. Think of the children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Quick, he's away. Play copyrighted material. The Call of Cthulhu. Found among the papers of the late <laughs> Francis William Thurston of Boston. Of such great powers or beings, there may be conceivably a survival. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> Fig, you sound awfully relieved and uplifted. I said you, you sound awfully relieved and uplifted coming out of the bathroom. Was it a spiritual experience? What do you say? Said something about Minecraft. Oh, uh, okay. Penis. Rules in schools are tools for fools. No. I have a boat. Alright. 
time to show Pike Central what you're made of. Would you like to go to first period or go to your locker? I'm going to go to my locker first. Got to get my books out of there. All right. This is your locker. What do you want to do with it? Would you like to fill it with water or climb inside to see if it goes anywhere else? <laughs> Those are two very unique options. Um, I, wanna, oh, I like the boot shovel. How'd you do that? <laughs> it is using Optifine uh, player models. Fuck it. Let's let's fill it with water. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Hey, man. Why are you doing that? Asks one of your fellow students in an oddly normal voice as you begin pumping your new locker full of water. It's a good question. One you hadn't considered before you began flooding your locker. Maybe you thought doing something reckless and ill-advised would earn the respect of your peers and help you make friends? It's hard to say. Okay, well, don't do that. That's not how you make friends. You read his facial expression to see if he's joking, realize that he's not, and then awkwardly sprint away to first period. <laughs> <laughs> This is better than I expected it would be. Here you are in history class. There are a lot of potential friends sitting around you, but you don't want to come across as desperate. You want to give off an air of mystery and coolness so that the other students will feel puzzled and intimidated enough to ignore you forever. I mean, to want to be your friend. Wear a trench coat. Would you like to light a cigarette and gaze cont and, and gaze con contemplatively out the window or sit hunched forward so that your spine's curvature resembles the Nike swoosh causing your <laughs> classmates to subconsciously identify Google you with the Rose Mary brand. Kennedy. All right, Joko. Oh, that's good. What they are you cut playing? Her what with are you a playing butter knife? Oh, he's doing click hole click ventures. Click hole click ventures. I should play that. Uh, it's certainly an experience, that's for sure. All right, would you like to light a cigarette and gaze contemplatively out the window or sit hunched forward so that your spine's curvature resembles the Nike swoosh, causing your classmates <laughs> to, sub to subconsciously identify you with the iconic brand? Okay. I feel, I, I feel attacked. So, <laughs> Joko. <laughs> <laughs> so, even though the objective here is to be cool, I kind of want to bend my body like the Nike logo because it's funny. All right. <laughs> for the Dude, nice. Scoliosis for the meme. You're looking really cool. Class, we've got a new student joining us today, your teacher says. His name is Jared. I mean, Kevin. <laughs> He's having you, an identity crisis. Give him would you like to say hey, sup, or Kevin? <laughs> Kevin. Up. So far, so good. What do you want to do now? You could just sit quietly and learn, or if you're feeling mischievous, you could act out to impress your classmates. Those are let's, your options learn or act out. Let's sit quietly and learn. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Can you help your dad lose his virginity at the Super Bowl? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> it's really good, isn't it? Is that Click Hole? That makes yep. no sense. Yeah, Click Hole Click Adventures. Today, so choir we'll be... frogs. Today we will be <laughs> learning about the Renaissance, a period from the 1300s to the 1600s when everyone was giant and made of marble. <laughs> the, giant, <laughs> the giant marble men and women all lived in Italy and they spent most of their time sculpting tinier versions of themselves out of bronze in hopes that, in hopes that the tiny bronze men would come to life and become their slaves. <laughs> but they never did come to life, and the marble men and women realized that they that they needed that they really needed a closet to store them all, so they invented museums, and to this day we still use museums as closets for tiny bronze men. <laughs> <laughs> New head cannon. I like it. I like it. Mmm, yeah, you are learning. Now, you've probably heard the term 
Renaissance Man. And this refers to the giant marble men who just four centuries ago held total dominion over the Earth, belligerently stampeding across continents in search of new shapes they could sculpt out of bronze. The most famous Renaissance man was, without a doubt, Michelangelo's David, whose spectacular corpse is now on display in Florence. <laughs> David was Michelangelo's son, and throughout the 16th century, the two could constantly be seen strolling nude, hand in hand, shouting in unison about all the things they found beautiful. You are getting so many new facts. <laughs> the Renaissance came to an end in August 1603, when bowling ball-sized meteors rained down upon the earth for three consecutive days and shattered most of the giant marble men mid-stride. The ones who survived fled Europe and colonized the land we now know as Oklahoma. <laughs> where their descendants still live and prosper to this day. Wait. But it looks like we're out of time for today, so I'll see you all tomorrow when we'll begin discussing the Age of Enlightenment. Wait a minute. Did the Renaissance actually end in 1603? I have no idea. I, I I doubt that it has a defined point at which it ended. Well, no, it's definitely like a historical like period that people... Like, Certainly not, not as specific as August 1603. Plan your son's funeral. Yikes. Your first, your first class at Pike Central has come to an end, and unfortunately you didn't make any new friends. You're going to need to try harder if you ever want to become popular. Would you like to go to second period or try to get in good with the cool kids? Let's try to get in good with the cool kids. <laughs> there they are. Cool kids. If you can join their ranks, you'll be at the top of the social pecking order. But they won't let just anyone into their exclusive crew. To prove yourself worthy, you've got to play your cards right. Would you like to win them over with a gift? Lie about yourself to earn their respect, or do something cool to get their attention. Let's lie about myself. All the teenagers do it. Great idea. Nobody knows you here, so you've got a clean slate. You can be anyone you want to be. You introduce yourself as skateboarding legend Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was just That'll sucking work. my drink out on the computer. Tony Hawk, eh? <laughs> The ringleader says, "That'd be pretty cool if it were true, but I'm not. But I'm not sure I believe you. Prove that you are who you say you are." All right. Would you like to tell them that you landed the first ever 900 in competition at the 1999 X Games, whatever the fuck that is, or say I'm Tony Hawk again? Wait, you've <laughs> never heard of the X Games? That's not the point. But yes. <laughs> Um, tell them about me landing the 900 of the 1999 X Games. Whoa, it really is you. You want to be friends with us? You it's did it! By joining their friend group, you are now officially a popular kid. There is no truer, greater happiness than this. <laughs> Right, you did we, it. You won. Can we do that one again? Sure. I need to mess with some settings real quick. I am sitting here apparently testing things now. I'm trying to figure out how to detach this window here. I'm looking at the plan your son's funeral. And this looks good. You're standing in front of a funeral <laughs> wait, wait, wait. with tears in your eyes. And Don't give any spoilers for any of these, Kevin. This is literally just the intro. Okay. I just want to read the intro. It's so Go funny. for it. And a checkbook in your pocket, which can only mean one thing. It's funeral planning time. Specifically, you're here to plan the funeral of your dead little boy, Caleb. And since Caleb <laughs> didn't leave a will specifying what he wanted, you've got a blank <laughs> slate to plan the biggest, saddest, <laughs> most mind-blowing funeral this town has ever seen. So what are you well. waiting for? Get in there and plan the funeral of the summer. <laughs> <laughs> so hot right now. 
I'm Thanks. not sure I've ever heard a thing laugh that hard. <laughs> That's twisted. I have. <laughs> there, it, it doesn't happen often, but sometimes if you if you give me unexpectedly, I'll just uncontrollably cry with laughter. To the point where it hurts. Kosar has completed the quest Creeper Keither. Dude, that's like me, except for the laughter part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mystic, can we redo that one again, but can I make all the weird kid choices? Yeah, sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wanna be- I wanna make the school like Kevin would do it. Alright. <laughs> Very start now. You want to walk through the door the regular way, take a deep breath first, or go lie down on the grass? Oh, we're going to start lying on the grass. Alright, you want to keep lying on the grass? Absolutely, I want to just sunbathe out here and get a horrible sunburn. Why would anyone ever do anything other than this? So peaceful. School can wait. You're just going to do this from now on. That's the end. <laughs> 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 Alright, I guess I guess go back to the point where I'm at the locker filling it with water. Alright, but first you wanna walk through the, through the door the regular way or take a deep breath and march boldly. Take a deep breath and march boldly. Ooh, that's a lot of lake. Whoops! You tried to go to school but just walked back into your house instead. <laughs> <laughs> go outside and try again. You go find school. Okay, not exactly off to the best start, but luckily you have now found the real high school. <laughs> Brilliant. Wow, school. Place where knowledge happens. Alright, we're meeting Ormul again. You want to go with him, or yeah, just figure gonna, things out on your we're, own? We're going to go with Ormul. Alright. Oh, fuck, that means I get to hear the voice again. No! This is Drinking Fountain. <laughs> Whenever your mouth is hot, you can come here and suck from the cooling spigot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm no longer calling them water fountains. The cooling <laughs> spigot. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna suck the cooling spigot real quick. <laughs> uh, I have, a, I have a, I have a work-related story related to a water fountain here. Whatever Mystic has done. This is lockers. Here is where you can put your shirts and food. Ormul's locker is B72. The code is 63314. You are my best friend. I invite you to keep your shirts here. Here is intercom. It is the mouth of the wall. When the wall wants to talk, it talks through intercom, its mouth. The mouth will not eat food like our mouths, though. Ormul has tried many times to feed it. Um, <laughs> you reminded me, uh, for like, over three quarters of my senior year, our intercom was broken. <clears throat> Here is Pretty Girls. Boys at Pike Central lust after them constantly, except for Ormul. Ormul does not lust. This is locker room girls. They always say, Ormul, you cannot be in here. But if this were so, then why is door unlocked? <laughs> <laughs> If I'm not supposed to be here, why is the door unlocked? This is special ed students! This one, I'm sorry, I've got to give you the image of this one. Oh god. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know. They always misbehave, but they cannot help it. Oh, fake, you're gonna love this one. This is jocks. What are they? What? <laughs> <laughs> bunch of like World War II veterans. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The they throw the balls way. and wear matching shirts. 
This is theater, kids. <laughs> oh, God, the theater kids. And finally, this is cool, kids. Did uh, did anybody cool. else hang out with the theater kids in school? That's what I did. I did. Yeah. I did. They were great. They're they're Both they're, they're a lively bunch. Cool. Wow. And finally, this is cool, kids. They are the most famous kids in all of Pike Central High School. Come, Ormore will introduce you to them. You're starting to realize that Ormore <laughs> might be a bit of a social liability. He's a nice guy and all, but you really want to be popular, and that, that'll most likely never happen if people associate you with Ormo. You should probably just politely tell him that you'd prefer to do things on your own. Listen, Ormo, I appreciate the welcome, but... Sorry to interrupt my great friend Kevin, but here is some money for you. You decline the money. <laughs> Poor guy. You're gonna have to find a way to let him down easy. Now, let him Would down you like hard. to say, Ormul, I yeah. really appreciate you being so nice, but I think I'd like to figure out things on my own if that's okay, or... Ormul, you seem like a nice guy and all, but, well, I just don't think we're cut out to be friends. Ooh. <laughs> Option two. I understand. No one wants to be friends with Ormur. I hope you have a nice time at school, Kevin. <laughs> you thank him for being so understanding and leave. Would you like to go to first period or go to your locker? Um, let's go to the locker. I want to step inside and see if there's like a Narnia portal in there. <laughs> Alright. Doesn't look like your locker leads to anywhere else. And now <laughs> you're stuck inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is embarrassing. There's no way you'd ever become popular if your new classmates ever found out about this. You should probably just stay in here and patiently wait out the rest of your life. Alright, we lose. We return to the checkpoint. Nice. Um, so... <laughs> the story with the cooling spigot, right? Yeah. So on Friday, I... What was I doing? I think I was walking up to the pilot house of the ship. And uh, there was a group of people who was sweeping part of a P-Way. It was the very end of uh, our allotted time for sweeping. And so I hear, wait, 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 I wanna, we, we, we want to watch him do this. And one of my friends, he puts his mouth over the entire water fountain spigot and like puts it all the way in his mouth. <laughs> uh. And then one of the other guys hands him a $20 bill. <laughs> oh no. I arrived at the tail end of that and they all just ran away like laughing their asses off. And like I'm just standing, I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah. This book is gonna be so base. Are you base. writing a book? Yeah. Okay, I'm actually copying the call of Cthulhu into it right Sweet. now. You wanna That's type the Holy easy. Bible? <sighs> Uh, Genesis, I think, <laughs> fills 13 books, so... <laughs> Wait, what if we... What if we uh, had, like, a dedicated section for each, uh, <laughs> each book of the Bible? Oh, boy. <laughs> or, uh, what, so... if we, what if I instead copied the Quran in Arabic? <laughs> and then the library burnt down. God Have you guys it. heard the the wild, unhinged Minecraft 117 conspiracy theory? No. No, no, what is it? I want to hear this. There thing. are some people who believe that Mojang is planning to increase the world depth. Oh, they yeah. better, they better. They had better do that. That would be incredible. So would they raise sea level to a higher point? Would they remove the... Like, or they make it go into the negative. Or yeah, why? I, they could. I mean, cubic chunks they, has already made that stuff possible. Yeah, they could. And they, so they hired the person who made the cubic chunks mod back in the day. Ooh, Pog. 
And in 116, they already made it possible for the dimension for the, the for biomes to exist in a 3D space. Like, uh -huh. yeah, because they split chunks from into being 16 by 16 by 16. They yeah. also did the dimension thing too. Yes, oh, but but, yeah. but the biomes having a having defined heights to them currently only applies to biomes in the Nether. Like, Nether biomes are the only ones that actually use that. What do you mean they use that? Like, they... They're like they change? As I understand it, it's possible to have, like, a soul sand valley that's, say, above a, a warped forest. Oh, okay. I didn't even know that was possible. I guess I just haven't noticed it. <laughs> yeah, it's not the sort of thing that would be readily noticed, and also I have no idea if I'm just talking out my ass or not. Well, yeah, I know you, and there's, sure. a, there's a good chance you're doing that right now. You could be bamboozling me. I would not be intentionally bamboozling you, though. I do love the word bamboozling. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it could be very exciting if they... Uh... I don't think there will ever be an infinitely deep world, but... I mean, we, we do know that there is a, a new biome called the Deep Dark that exists at the at the at the bottom of the world. Yeah. So, isn't that from a mod? Uh, that that's a different thing with the same name. Hmm. There is also a theory that uh, Mojang is is attempt is going to expand the world border. Yeah. I mean, they could. Well, they've been slowly fixing bugs at, like, extreme distances. <laughs> Things that you're not unable to get to without modifying the game. <laughs> and most of it has to do with, like, mob behavior and spawning. <laughs> Have you seen that? Like, where mobs will only move along, like, a grid pattern at extreme distances? Hmm. It's very cool, but also very strange. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so you remind me of the uh, the fact that my uh, high school had no intercom for most of my senior year. So whenever they would do fire drills, one of the teachers at the end of the hallway would walk out into the hallway, and they would just sound an air horn, and then the <laughs> everyone down the hallway would sound their air horns, too. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Are we doing more shenanigans in the school? No, I'm done with <laughs> shenanigans in the school. Alright. You want to plan a funeral? Yeah, Kevin, I want <laughs> you to plan a funeral. We plan right, a funeral know. after the shenanigans in the school, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. Yikes! 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 <laughs> Question, did you guys ever have uh, bomb threats when you were in high school? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, was yeah, I, I only had... I mean, yeah, I was homeschooled. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> was with one of the other students. All right, wait. <laughs> wait, Kevin, were you actually homeschooled? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that explains a lot about you. Fake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get the whole <laughs> online experience by trying our internet simulator. <laughs> what? What? Fight for the glory of Rome. Yes. That sounds fun. Sleepover at Brenna's. A line from my book. This must be this kissing I've re been reading about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to plan the funeral, Fig? Uh, sure, I'll plan a funeral. All right. Uh, so you're it. standing in front of a funeral home with tears in your eyes and a checkbook in your pocket, which can only mean one thing. It's funeral planning time. Specifically, <laughs> you're here to plan the funeral of your dead little boy, Caleb. And since Caleb didn't leave a will specifying what he wanted, you've got a blank slate to plan the biggest, saddest, most mind-blowing funeral this town has ever seen. So what are you waiting for? Get in there and plan the funeral of the summer. Go inside. 
Greetings, uh, my name on. is Richard P. Wormwell III, and I am the funeral director here. I understand that your son has died. I'm very sorry to hear this. Much like a beloved dog, a son can feel almost like another member of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Though you may try to acquire a new son to fill the void, each son is unique in temperament and character, and any earnest attempt to replace one is truly a fool's errand. There, 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 there. I will be assisting you in planning the service for your boy, who, as you'll surely recall, is no longer alive. Now, before we begin, would you be so kind as to remind me how your son died? Oh, God. He he tried to give a tornado a hug. He swallowed too many CD-ROMs. Brained ankle. <laughs> uh, spiders chasing me! Which do you choose? Hang on, I'm being attacked by Spoder. Alright. Uh, he tried to give a tornado a hug. Yeah, that's what I would have picked, too. <laughs> that's good. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> um, you don't say. Well, a death so spectacular deserves a truly exceptional funeral. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> you want the picture of the uh, funeral director? Of course I do. <laughs> oh, man. Here it is. <laughs> In text voice. <laughs> That's good. First, I'm afraid we must discuss the matter of finances. What, may I ask, is the your budget for your son's funeral? $7,000 or $43? 7000 Clearly. D did I hear that correctly? Did you say... <laughs> Seven thousand dollars, as in like seventy hundred dollar bills, and uh, the man's face changed to this. The only answer is yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the face is still the same. And you want to spend this astronomical sum on a service for your son? A son who, in his current condition, is no more capable of enjoying the proceedings than a wet pile of trash? <laughs> yes, or, well, when you put it that way, I guess it does seem a little extravagant. Maybe I should use some of that money to treat myself instead. It's been a rough week. Yes. Of course. Only the best for a well, then. Family. Seven, with $7,000, we can plan a very cool funeral. Now, let us head to the coffin showroom to select a nice eternity cage for your sweet boy's corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this might have been actually written by a funeral director. Yeah. Oh, We've God. done a few in our time. Here are our most impressive and costly coffins. At the back of the room, we have the Crestwick Bone Estate, which, with polished ivory hemispheres lining the cabin and bespoke cashmere limb shackles, is the industry leader in posthumous indulgence. Next is the Crestwick Bone Estate Sport, which is much like the original, only it's outfitted with a rear spoiler, Stink wicking microfiber upholstery and rubber performance grips for maximum pall bearer maneuverability. <laughs> Why would you uh, use spoiler on a coffin? Third, I'm, gonna, third, third, I'm gonna send you a relevant article. Oh god. Third is the Crypt Tech Ecstasy Chamber. It's said to feel like you're being gently cradled by God's tongue. <laughs> Fourth That's is the Nissan DVR. Incredible Rectangle. Nissan only recently entered the luxury casket market, but the company is already turning heads with this innovative model, which comes standard with a spotty kickstand, or a sporty kickstand, retractable morning window, and voice-activated hey. entertainment console with Bluetooth integration. Finally, we have the limited edition Apollo Necrocomet XP. It's loud as hell and utterly inescapable. 
<laughs> Which coffin would you like? Would you like the Crestwick Bone Estate, the Bone Estate Sport, the Cryptech Ecstasy Chamber, the Nissan Incredible Rectangle, or the Apollo Necrocommon XP? I would like the one where you're being caressed by the tongue of God. Oh, which one was that? Um, I think that... The Cryptech yeah, Ecstasy the, the Chamber, Chamber, yes. An excellent choice. Any child would be lucky to be permanently sealed inside this coffin. Now, would you be interested in adding a forever friend to your purchase? No thanks, I'm good, or what's a forever friend? What's a forever friend? For an additional charge of $300, we'll include a friendly young buddy to keep your child's remains company until the end of time. Sounds great, or no thanks, I'll pass. No thanks, I'll pass. As you wish. Mm, now pass. we shall go choose an efficient... Uh, now, shall we go choose an efficient to preside over the funeral, or shall we break to have a toffee first? Let's go choose an efficient. Which efficient would you like mm. to proceed, uh, preside over your son's funeral? From left to right, your choices are Reverend Calvin, a 1998 Dodge Viper, Mark, <laughs> and lastly, a mystery of... Nice. <laughs> Let's go with the 1998 Dodge Viper. <laughs> <laughs> it's this is truck actually lost. a car, not a human being. It is incapable of presiding over a funeral service. You'll need to choose a different efficient. I apologize for the inconvenience. Let's go with the mystery one. Boing. Taking a gamble, are we? Good for you. I admire a man who does not shy from risk. The identity of the mystery efficient will be revealed to you at the beginning of your son's funeral. Now, let's go select with which eulogy you'd like our unknown efficient to deliver. Here is our big book of eulogies. Please take a moment to read the different options. Or, if you find reading too burdensome, we can let my pet iguana, Danforth, choose for us. Read the different eulogy options, or let Danforth choose. Let Danforth choose. I fed Danforth four separate numbered marbles, with each marble corresponding to a different eulogy. Danforth will digest the four marbles and, at his convenience, emancipate them through his anus. We will go with the corresponding eulogy of whichever marble he chooses to relinquish for uh, first. Granted, the, this process will take a considerable amount of time, anywhere from several hours to several days, but lucky for you, I am a severely patient man. Begin waiting on Danforth. Continue waiting on Danforth. Continue waiting on Danforth. Continue waiting on Danforth. Continue waiting on... Please refrain from any activity, as even the slightest movements will make my beautiful Danforth nervous, Inclu inducing a timidness of disposition that could prolong our wait considerably. Continue waiting on Danforth. Continue waiting on Dan... How click. many times do you have to click this? Behold, his anus dilates. Continue waiting on Danforth. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I legitimately thought it was just going to loop the same page over and over. He has given forth a marble, and it appears as if he has chosen Eulogy 3, which reads as follows. We are gathered here today to celebrate the life and memory of Deceased. I didn't know Deceased personally, but I did once meet Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> I was at a park playing catch with a friend when I actually... Yeah, I, I was at that concert time. where they had nothing but a sock on their junk. <laughs> causing it to bounce away into a nearby pond. The ball could not be retrieved from shore, and I was resigned to the fact that I lost it for good. But then I noticed some strange bubbles surfacing in the middle of the pond. I leaned forward to take a closer look, and suddenly a hand burst from the water holding my ball. The hand belonged to Flea. He emerged from the water and walked toward me, soaking wet and fully nude. He said to me, I've been searching this very pond for this exact ball for the last 25 years of my life. Is it yours? I said that it was, to which he replied, Can I keep it? If you let me keep it, I'll give you 100% of the royalties for my music from here on out. It seemed like a reasonable offer. 
So I agreed. He thanked me profusely and then returned to the water. Ever since, I've received hundreds of thousands of dollars in royalties every few months. With that said, if deceased was anything like Lee, then he was an incredibly mm. kind and generous individual, and he will be dearly missed. A superb choice from old Danforth. This eulogy will strike a chord in the hearts of everyone in attendance. Now, on to the matter of guest accommodation. Would you prefer that the funeral be handicap accessible? Yes or no? Nah, fuck the wheelchair bound. <laughs> As you wish. Continuing on, uh, you now must select a hymn of which to open the service. Your choices are, O oh Father God, magnify our grief. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. <laughs> or <laughs> number two. <laughs> oh man, I was choked. Uh, we offer unto the Almighty this child as a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, there is a golden hill down which the dead do tumble. <laughs> These are cursed. Number four, God our shepherd occasionally leads a lamb to slaughter. <laughs> oh no. Great is he who traps in jars our souls departed. <laughs> or six. Oh, Hallelujah, this child is dead. <laughs> <laughs> These oh, are all so good. <laughs> you need a screenshot. Which, which him... <laughs> screenshot for later. Hallelujah, this <laughs> child is dead. <laughs> That's the one you pick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me uh, save oh this screenshot oh real quick. That was, that was brilliant. Uh, Sweet trees are made of these. I'll just save a screen cap and text voice. <laughs> All right. Um, ah, such a lovely hymn. Now, which song would you like to play for the first dance? Your choices are I Could Not Ask for More by Edwin McCain, Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra, Just the Way You Are by Billy Joel, At Last by Etta James. <laughs> <laughs> Up Where We Belong by Joe Crocker and Jennifer Warnes. She's a Boogie Woogie Funeral Gal by Tommy Dorsey. Which will it be? Let's do At Last. <laughs> Boy, he was using a dragon effective weapon. Of course he killed Daragor. <laughs> a true crowd pleaser. Now, uh, we're now finished. Uh, uh, we're now nearly finished with the planning, but first, we like to make sure that every funeral contains at least a glimmer of the deceased's personality. And to help us do this, I was wondering if you'd be so kind as to share what types of activity your son enjoyed while he was still alive. He liked to play baseball Kevin. or he liked to play video games. What? The book is ready. Oh, no. Okay. okay. Oh, no. Anybody cares? I'm basically spectating as uh, TVZ features are tested. <laughs> nice. Oh wow! Hmm. Got a, got a did you like to? Here. Did you like to play baseball or video games? Uh, he was he was a real he was a real gamer. <laughs> All right. Oh, wonderful. Well, to honor the spirit of who he truly was, we will dress him up as Goro from Mortal, Mortal Kombat in his coffin. <laughs> With that Mr. Gorochev, tear down this wall. With that Mr. taken Gorochev. care of, we've now planned everything there is to plan for the funeral. Congratulations. The service will take place later tonight. Now, before we permanently lock your son's corpse in the coffin, would you like to visit him? Uh, visit with him one last time? Yes, very much so, or no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. 
As you wish, the funeral will, be will begin in four hours. In the meantime, you can watch a video about how gloves are made. Well, go watch the video. <laughs> uh, the video is both informative and entertaining, and you watch it over and over again to learn <laughs> as much as you can about the glove-making process. The four hours pass quickly, however, before you know it, it's time for the funeral. As you prepare to walk into the chapel, you suddenly become paralyzed with fear. Until moments ago, you'd been compartmentalizing your emotions, but now the gravity of everything hits you with full force. Take a deep breath and walk into the chapel. Whoa. All right. Whoops, wrong room. Try the next room. Whoops, wrong room again. Give the bride your best wishes and try a different room. <laughs> Here it is. You've made it to your son's funeral, and everything looks exactly as you'd hoped. How cool is that coffin? It's still early, but you think this has the potential to be one of the saddest, most awesome funerals of the year. Feel the excitement in the air. Suddenly, the room goes black, and you're treated to an impressive light show. This can only mean one thing. The mystery of efficient is about to be revealed. Ladies and gentlemen, an announcer's voice booms. Give it up for your efficient. See who the efficient is. It's your beautiful son. Wait, but how? Rub your eyes in disbelief or mutter, <laughs> but it can't be. It can't be. Rub your eyes in disbelief. Believe your eyes, Dad, he says. It's really me, your precious boy. But you died. How is this possible? I love you so much that I would die for you, he continues, and I wanted to prove it. I pretended to die so that I could give you this special surprise, demonstrating how my powerful love for you. But I saw your body and everything. I held very still and did not breathe, he says. My love for you is greater than death. Take your boy and head home, or take your boy out for some quality father-son time. Take your boy out for some quality father-son time. You take your son to the beach, where you playfully chuck him up in the air, as fathers sometimes do. Keep chucking him. Wee, he says. Now whip him around in circles. <laughs> I'm having fun with my dad, he tells you. Keep whipping him around. My love for you is greater than death, he whispers. Whip him around some more. <laughs> oh, I will never die again, he begins. Whip him around and around and around. <laughs> Unless it is with you. The wind howls over the water, beckoning. Take me to the sea, he whispers. Take me home. Why is this turning into Mezax Fig? <laughs> ah! Take, take, take me down to the Mezax Fig city. Oh man, imagine if green. Grape was an author for Clickhole. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean she easily could be. Oh man. Our love is greater than death. Our love is greater than death. You both repeat this again and again as you push forward through the waves. The night is so calm. Soon the water mutes your voices. 40, 50 seconds pass. A small hand takes yours and grips it tightly, afraid. You squeeze it back as if to say, Daddy's here. A few more moments pass. The grip releases. He's no longer afraid. Say, our love is greater than death, over and over in your mind. What a nice time you're having with your beautiful son. Start over. That got very creepy at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it got dark. <laughs> I like that. Do you want to go see your son? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> Not sure if I'm okay. It's your first day on Wall Street. <laughs> oh, that can't go well. Sam, do you want your... You ready for the book? Uh, uh, yeah. Death attends the matinee. <laughs> the matinee. <laughs> I logged off at the library. Uh, I'm up at the cloud. Wow, Doing my computing. Learn a new wow. language right now with Language Getter. Get her? I barely knew her. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna it. get her. Can you survive the... the great journey out west? Get her. 
Enjoy. The mysterious 1992 trap. space movie. No! Oh, no. Is this? Uh, I hate you, Joko. The universe is my power. Oh, <coughs> uh, boy. It is. Yep, there's the word. There's the gamer word. <laughs> is this? What is this? The plot or the intro? Script. It's the entire script. Yep. Of the 1992 space movie. Jeez, so this is going directly up. into the Ender chest. <laughs> how, what I, 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 uh, how bad is that? <laughs> um, Kothar like, didn't okay. upload the merge. Like, am I going to need? <laughs> no. a, am I going to need to purge it from your player data file when I put the world for download? Yes. Right, right there in the band books choker. <laughs> uh, another job finished. Yeah, actually, I think my alt has even more band books. <laughs> oh, you know what? I didn't see how large the SMP world file was. <laughs> Let's see how big it is this time. The file is big and it keeps getting bigger. Don't that's because cheap. <laughs> that is. So, he's a good friend. Um, uh, something that rhymes with that that isn't the N word. The world, that's the world Jesus file Christ is now is almost gamer. 13 gigs. Excellent. The world is a vampire. Oh, okay. These are the last four click ventures in the list. Can you survive the great journey out west? The mysterious shadows of Skull Shadow Island. Need to get right with the Lord? <laughs> Go to church. I think I've had and, a quick ventures for the day. And would you survive a bear attack? Probably not. <laughs> I think I'm I've had enough uh, quick step. ventures for one day. <laughs> we will just keep them in mind for the future. Okay. I'm gonna pog off. See you later. See I'll you. Be bed bugs bite. See you, pog man. They will nurture on my flesh. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> the meal is in insubstantial. So here's the question, Mystic. How long will it take for us to get through all of the click ventures? Because we'll run out of click ventures long before I reach the corner. Oh, yeah. Are you reaching the corner on single player? No, Joko. I'm obviously setting up a multiplayer server to do this. Uh, are you streaming it or just running? I'm streaming it. Oh, to where? Twitch. To Twitch. Yo, you got Twitch? Yeah, I have. I've had it ever since, uh... I think I only made the account so we could play RLCraft. <laughs> like, Hook a gamer year. up? What? Hook a gamer up? <laughs> you can literally click on my Discord. Oh, fucking, you're such a smooth brain. Smooth. Smooth. <clears throat> smooth. Well, originally when I started this, I was just streaming it through Discord. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I kind of want to record this, you know, in case I, I decide to be completely insane and go all the way there. That way I have, <laughs> you know, video proof of this. Nice. And so I started Too streaming it to Twitch. And then... Whenever I'm done with Twitch, I just upload it directly to YouTube as like a permanent place to keep it. Hmm. Because I don't have enough hard drive space to store that much oh. uh, that much video. I can hear myself. So yeah, everything you say is going to be on YouTube. Oh, that's too much power. I won't meet you. You start getting out of hand. Demon, you I are had, all beneath me. I, I had to mute my I had to mute my own soundboard because I <laughs> I, I played careless whisper got a copyright claim on it. Thank so, you, funny yeah. dragon man. If you say anything that's that's uh, too out there, Fig's gonna bleep it when he does when he edits the video. Yeah, so just just do me a favor and don't make my life hard. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or I'll just keep you muted. 
<laughs> I have I keep the bots muted as well because nine times out of ten they are memes, but then you guys might play mm -hmm. copyrighted shit. Remember, every video Fig rewatches it completely before he puts it on YouTube. No. <laughs> I am far too lazy to watch six hours of video. He combs through each one meticulously. What's your coordinates? No idea. He's uh, not checking uh, until we hit the thumb raising goal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I can tell him at least 65,536 because there's offset that's visible. But I don't know, like, specifics. And I kind of just want to keep it that way because, you know, eventually we're just going to hit a wall of terrain at, at some point. Fig, if you check <laughs> FB, you have to donate $50 to a charity. To the Willow would... Fund. No, I've already donated to the Willow Fund. I would probably no! donate it to something, uh... Probably Do you know that Kolb is worth three Willows? Yes. <laughs> I'd probably donate to something related to, uh, Alzheimer's research. Sure. That's fair. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it it kind of sucked watching my uh, grandfather slowly forget who he was before he died. Hmm. I feel like my go-to charity would probably be anything having to deal with terminally ill children. Oh. I'd yeah. probably just donate for mental health, honestly. Save Caleb Fund. I've got a soft spot for terminally ill kids. <laughs> Save Caleb Fund. <laughs> Buy him a new casket. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Go fund me to buy Caleb a casket. <laughs> <laughs> My funeral's coming up, and I can't afford a headstone. A E I O U Enigma. The last thing I said, anybody else here? Well, I see. Welcome to the chat room. Who else here and your color has been changed? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Why is Kevin? <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Look at this flea bag. <laughs> Good evening, chat. This stream is brought to you by the Space Rain Marine Shadow Legends. You know what? Oh, I think I found a dungeon. Yeah, this is a dungeon. That's definitely. Yep, there it is. Let's see this what we got. To you about the letter M. This is a skeleton dungeon. All right, let's do this skeleton part. All right, now the question is, what goodies await me in this chest here? Some iron and some bread. Ooh, and a music disc. I could totally make a uh, a jukebox. Oh. Will you? Uh, probably. Maybe. I don't know. What I need to think about right now is getting into a bed. Help me out here, Kevin. What are you trying to do? I think I might have made too many beds. This is beta 173, Joko. I was about This to... is beta 173. I... Joko's still here? Joshua. That's my wife's name. That's nice. My boat was made for my dead wife. Are you and Joshua close? Yeah. Nah, I doubt it. 
No, Mr. my bow is made for my ex-wife. No, I thought it was I thought it was dead wife. It is dead wife. Yeah. You know, I, I almost like was like, yeah, let me just open F3 and show you the, the version number. Joko, if you can hear me, copy and paste this message from the stream chat. Ugh. All right. Your message is identical to one you sent in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> kappa, kappa, kappa. Hey, Puga. Thank you for filling my chat with that. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Hey. What, what if I posted uh, your your stream to the Minecraft subreddit? Oh no! I mean, I literally I cannot stop sleep. you from doing that. <laughs> Welcome to the nice lake. So here's the thing, Mystic. No one would <laughs> care. More than they already do. The reason being is I'm not a very significant distance to the to the corner. Therefore, it's uh. still more of a oh he's just started this he's gonna get bored of it in five days and quit. Which of course you won't. No, because I'm completely unhinged. You're in the navy. Yeah, I've you already do done. The I I have I've already done I've already done one stupid thing twice in my life. What's what's stopping me from doing a third? Only in the Navy for another six years, man. Oh man, it's four and a half years this month. That's fucking crazy. Damn, son. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, was it was it Kevin that said he's gonna wait until I get a significant distance and just tweet this at Ed Venom? There's a skeleton over there. Come forth, Bone Man. Ooh, three arrows. you just thought of this as no that, that's uh like an hour ago splax in the minecraft chat shared a link to your twitch and said come watch discount flob <laughs> or uh 
flop if you ordered it off of Wish. You don't even have notes about what to talk about mm -hmm. in this episode. <laughs> you, I don't write anything down, ever. I'm not even at work. I can't remember the last time I even had a pen in my hand. I mean, I have to have a pen all the time, but... <laughs> you can, it's this, this is a flop if you ordered it off of Wish. This is flob lightly used. Flob light. Um, if you if you do ever post this to the Minecraft subreddit, please title it "Discount Flob." Are you gonna do this like every day you're not on duty? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. A couple hours a day. When you're on duty, you're gonna think about doing this. I mean, when I'm on duty, I'm probably be focused on work. I actually like, uh, unlike uh, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, I'll bring my laptop with me to the ship. And I'll just play, like, offline games or something, just when I have downtime. The thing is, like, Friday, I had zero downtime in the evening. I was super busy until, like, 10 o'clock. Hmm. And then even, then, even when I did have downtime after that, I was so tired that I just knocked out. Alright, Mystic, I do want you at some point to post this to the subreddit with the caption Discount Flop. I will probably do that at some point. I'll read any of the title to that. Discount Flop. Order off a Wish. Have you seen Wish ads? Wish ads are wild. Oh, yeah, they are. Not. They try to sell you the weirdest shit. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hmm. So we got a, I believe they call this a hot tub. We sell food here, sir. So what's walking speed in this game? It's a good question. We sell poop here, sir. Poop? Why do I have 203 notifications? I must just run for... Ooh. Wi-Fi sent me a link to something. Yes. Uh, is it Celeste? Yeah, so what exactly... I don't have any images to go along with this. It makes little particle shooting stars if you look at the plug-in page. What else does it do? It's just shooting stars. Uh... Yes, I agree. Yeah. He was looking, uh, he was looking at stuff uh, a little bit ago, trying to figure out uh, speak of functionality, and he ran across it. I always like good cosmetic stuff to add to the SMP. Yeah. I really wish that we could just, uh, there was a way to just add, like, seasons, but it'd be a plug-in so nobody has to install anything. That's a deep hole. Preparing for the first... President Trump has asked for Ronald McDonald to sing sexual healing at his funeral if he dies of COVID-19. What? Oh my. <laughs> is, that, is that Onion? That's Onion. That's Clickhole. Okay. I mean, it could be both. Clickhole is for the really unhinged stuff. Hang on, let me look up. Minecraft walking speed. Someone has added a photo to Among Us sus posting. Around 4.3 meters per second. That's actually really, really fast. <laughs> it is. I don't know what that is in Imperial, because I can't do math in my head, but, I mean, it's definitely... Well, a meter is about 40 inches. I thought so... a meter was much closer to 3 feet. It's not exactly, but it's pretty close, right? 
I mean, 40 inches is close to three feet. Yeah, it was like four inches off. So I do know that an inch is 2.54 centimeters. So 36 inches times 2.54. Alright, so it's... let me do some math here. 12,550,824. Uh, where's the squared button? Squared times 2. Square root. 17,749,545 blocks of distance to travel from the origin point. Divided by 4.3. That gives me a total time of 4,127,801 seconds. Which, uh, let me get that into something more manageable. In minutes, 68,000. In hours, it is 1,146. Which is only 47 straight days. Cool. Be there in a year. No. So, man, Mystic, my current plan is to just do this for a couple hours in the evening, whenever I'm not on duty. Just come into a channel and vibe with everybody. Hmm. I can't believe I used the word vibe. Let me reevaluate. I mean, the HTC Vive is a decent VR system. No, don't don't use the air. But you're in the navy. <laughs> I am absolutely relying on you guys, my friends, to propel me through this. I now have a gazebo. Otherwise, I would lose my complete mind. Your mind is incomplete. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's because my brain is small and. Org dot bucket dot craft bucket dot v one underscore eight underscore r three dot entity dot craft player. I almost thought you were going to say a, a web address. No. Yeah, that did sound like a web address for a second. That's just because of all the dots. Bum 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 bum. Ah, this is great. Put my foot on my power supply and it burns me. I think I'll end this stream after this one. Yeah. After this one, what? This day ends. Ah. Uh. It's been three hours. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Snore. Hello, or dot bucket dot craft bucket dot v one underscore eight underscore r three dot entity dot oh. craft player. You know, one thing I do appreciate from Kurt is that I did learn how to do this from him. Oh, golly gee, Willikers. <laughs> Interesting. I think in one of his episodes that I watched, he described how you did it, and so I spent just forever like tapping my face to figure it out, and eventually I got it. Yeah. I'm now attempting to pass the skill on to my niece. I have already taught her how to honk like a goose. So something's being done correctly. Good. I'm also partly doing it to annoy my brother-in-law. Because, you know, that's what you Just do. Just don't ever let that skill die. Oh, no. <laughs> Honk. Yonk. Fjord.
Yeah. Of course. The debug message is having a field day. The what? Debugging. You guys remember the infinite oceans? <laughs> what? Do you guys remember the infinite oceans? Yeah, yes. from back in the day when the world was mostly made up of just large continents. Yeah, I actually thought that was a bit more realistic. I loved it. Yeah, it's a shame. My shield is partially broken. They just don't make Minecraft like they used to. Yeah. You know, looking at this old uh, sugarcane texture, I'm so glad they changed that. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to pay attention the next time you come across some sugarcane. I mean, I literally just looked at some. Yeah, but I wasn't watching at the time. Yeah, let's see how okay. Maybe I'll encounter some along the way here. Is that some over the right there? No? No, I'm pretty sure that was sugarcane. <laughs> Where? Like behind you. It's not worth going back for, though. No, it really isn't. <laughs> There's a vertex to reach. I am going to the gypsy wagon. Stay safe. Stay safe, don't let her catch Now there's a gypsy wagon directly behind the lobby spawn. Oh no, the beach. Uh, I, I, I want to be clear that when I said stay safe, I did not mean to imply that I believed the gypsies would somehow be harmed. <laughs> I don't know, man. They seem kind of dangerous know, to me. Man. I am not in any way prejudiced against gypsies, or, or rather against the Romani people. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. I have great respect for their culture. And I understand they have been historically treated very, very poorly by the Europeans. Specifically by the white Europeans. What? I digress. Two more viewers than you. <laughs> oh no, we can't let this happen. Quick mystic post. Posting. Yes. Yes, right away. Absolutely. All right, let's see here. Ba -na 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 that was uh, some good vocals you hit there, man. Thank you. If I post, then you guys will be able to look at the uh, <laughs> thing and, and see what my Reddit account is. So I already know your real name. Why does it matter? That's a very fair point. I mean, imagine being a Redditor, though. Well... I have three Reddit <laughs> accounts. I should make a fourth one. Just for this. I have a Reddit account, but I, don't, I don't remember what the name of it is. Is it Figonometry97? Is it Wef Wilson? I think I had to add, like, three numbers onto the end of it. So it's Figonometry something something something. I mean, at least I finally have an established username. <laughs> Before Minecraft, I didn't actually have one. I would just use whatever I could come up with. This place is made entirely out of slabs now. Pog.
Uh, I feel like that might exceed the character limit, Joko. Ooh, that's a nice looking mountain there. Both our upload changes. Bet now on your phones. Ooh, that's a nice image. Uh, a pinned uh, post on the subreddit is Minecraft Bioloopy Build Challenge. It's yeah. a nice looking pagoda. Yeah, that's a nice Dakota. Majora's Mask is a game about the moon landing. Nineteen eighty four, that's the funny novel that the people like to read in uh, socialism class, right? Socialism class. I feel like the Minecraft subreddit ha probably has a rule against Absolutely. promoting people's streams. Probably. I also wasn't serious when I said to do that. It actually does not have that kind of a rule. I would like to read it, but dis er, Discord, uh, Reddit on mobile is trash. <laughs> That's why I, I just I use desktop to... Reddit. I use the Riff is Fun app. It's fantastic. Reddit I literally theory. just use the desktop uh, appearance for have old Reddit. Have you tried Riff is Fun? No. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see here. Submit. I will never use anything other than old Reddit. Wait, My wait. friend is doing... Discount <laughs> flub where he walks to the corner farlands. <laughs> Support his stream. Oh my god. By watching. URL HTTPS colon slash slash chicken on a raft dot www dot twitch dot tv slash Kurt J Mac. They call him Booster because he's got boosters. That's good. Speaking like of which, I think it's Scream at Eight number five or six. You know, I had a thought in my head, and then it kind of just died. I'm sure this is going to get removed. Oh, absolutely. Good job. It's going to be vetted immediately. Or it'll be downvoted into oblivion. Alright, it's been posted to Reddit. <laughs> you should have posted it on, like, a completely unrelated subreddit. Why would I do that? It would just get immediately removed. You just posted cringe, dude. That sucks. My knuckles are starting to hurt. I look forward to this being removed. <laughs> you gonna strike against your account on Reddit? Nah. Absolutely.
Has it been mm. removed at Mystic? Um, not yet. That's genuinely surprising. Oh, hey, I found sugar cane. Oh, well, you apparently got four people watching your stream. Three of them were you guys. Two more and you'll pass Captain Amazing. No, no, one more. He, Joko said he was at two more when we were at three. Two more and you'll be equal. Oh, right. Yeah, we can't just we can't just meet, we gotta exceed. Discount flob. <laughs> If you ordered off of Wish. Uh, most of my comment karma on this account is from me posting on the D&D or, or commenting on the D&D subreddit to clarify people's misconceptions about rules. I actually never use my Reddit account. I usually just lurk on E4. Sometimes I also lurk on Carbal Space Program. Sometimes I lurk behind you. Oh no, you only have three viewers now. Oh no, that's terrible. Never gonna, we're never gonna financially recover from this. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Oh wait, no, now you're gonna get a copyright strike. Joko says, Joko says our buddy Captain Amazing only has four viewers now. <laughs> An addendum to Rule 5, oh, no memes. Why, why can't you post memes on RimWorld? What's that about rimming? Scout flop. My display only reads four, therefore it's equal. No one's <laughs> gonna watch this from Reddit. Oh, I'm completely aware of it. It's just, it's just another one of our shit posts. It's shit post Sunday on the gazebo. Shovel, it's Monday. It's shit post Tuesday on the gazebo. <laughs> it's Tuesday over here, fam. Okay, sorry. Sorry, we don't deal with communist time. <laughs> Did somebody say communist time? <laughs> that makes Mystic want to move to the West Coast, though. And I can't have Mystic near me. Don't you mean and the left coast? <laughs> every time Kothar spawns as a mob, he gets the Creeper Keeper quest. Oh, did you did you take the chance to watch the Skyrim video I linked? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, that's genuinely I hilarious. Christmas. I didn't either, but just the opening scene of just Cheese Wheels spilling out of the fucking wagon as they get executed. My god, it was amazing. <laughs> Unbearably funny. And then uh when he did the wide shot of White Run, it was just filled with cheese. I'm also <sighs> amazed he didn't crash due to how many physics objects were in the loaded area. Did 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 the guy ever like acknowledge the presence of the cheese? <laughs> Nobody acknowledged the cheese. I like watching NPCs try to walk over the cheese wheels and them getting stuck for a bit and then they eventually like kinda get over it. Oh, yeah. Ow. Why do you say ow? I fell. Because he's got boosters. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's stream delay. Mm. Yeah, I very poorly navigated down a mountain here. Why the hell do you think I yelled ow? Yeah, like... Uh, you just now entered the, the little waterfall. Oh, this is a nice... This is a cool area. Lots of cliffs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the sun just dipped below the mountain. Sun just dipped. The sun is a deadly mountain. Not anymore, it's a slab. I did say I was going to stop last night, but I'm kind of in the mood where I'm just going to keep going. Good.
<laughs> that means we'll have more time to not get any viewers from Reddit. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Cody. What about Cody? No, Cody. 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 <laughs> Guess what? Chicken butt. Cody's pretty good as a drug, not gonna lie. You know what else is good as a drug? Morphine? Crystal meth. Sponge boy me, Bob. I've overdosed on crystal meth. Let's see, what can I peruse on RimWorld here? You were supposed to say These restart, but you didn't. Me and set fire to the mini base I built them while they were still inside. <sighs> I'm gonna delete that Reddit post. <laughs> Do you accept Reddit karma? You know why I'm gonna delete it? Because it's gonna be deleted anyways. Because honestly, I, I, I think that probably. Anyone who even would click on that link would just be disappointed when they get here. <laughs> this is honestly kind of boring to watch. It's yeah, an enjoyable also, stream. You can listen to your friends. We're also like, not. We're also not entertaining people. I mean, we are when we want to be. Only when we're in like an extreme shit post mode. Hmm. All other times, absolutely not. Like. I feel like our Gmod's probably fun to watch. Oh, I was, I was just, I was uh, checking the video before I uploaded it, and I was just watching portions of it, and it's, it's great not being part of it to just watch the insanity going on. Where do you post it? I can't find it. There it is. I can't coin the fine slot. It, there is. <laughs> yeah, he posted an R slash Minecraft. Oh, you saw it? No, Joke was asking where you posted that. <laughs> I've, I've since deleted it. Deleted mm -hmm. it before anybody could give me any downvotes. <laughs> Wouldn't that negative? I'm not gonna let that damper my Reddit karma. Yeah, that would affect your Reddit karma pretty negatively. What if there's a subreddit for for flop? I bet that exists. Let's find out. Remember to carry your gazebo balloons yeah. around. Bust Reddit. You can carry yeah, balloons. Right. Yep. It's got uh, a humble 274 members. Wait, what? Is this real? This Reddit is dead, 39 days What did Trothar just send me? Hidden chickens in the lobby. <laughs> yeah, r slash flop only has 14 people, and the last post is like 6 years ago. Interesting. <laughs> one third of the way to the Far Lands, and one last floating point to cross at 8,388,608. I can't wait to want to gouge my eyes out as the jitter gets horrible. Dragon's Harvest. It's there, it's just not very noticeable yet.
I should go install Celeste on the SMP when I'm done with this. Hmm. Unless Wi-Fi is going to do it for me. Congrats! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Cody was AFK kicked again. Ow. It's a shame that me and Kevin couldn't finish the coal block. Okay. We determined how long it would take us. It would take us about 12 hours if we did it all at once. Alright, so, Mystic. Yep. Let's say it's 11... 1,174 hours, right? Sure. It's 11,174 hours, right? I meant to say 1174. So if I stream for 3 hours per day, that's only 391 days. That is well over a year. Now, that isn't going to be the case because I've got duty days, I've got days that I might be at work so long that I get home and I'm super tired. Of course, this is absolutely the perfect thing to do when I'm too brain dead to build, and I can just walk forward. Yeah. This requires about as much brain power as a cockroach can have. So do I. Roses are red. Roses are blue. Violets are red. I have Alzheimer's and so do I. That's the wrong joke. Roses are red. Violets are blue. No, it's roses are blue. Violets are red. I have schizophrenia and so do I. Rose is red. Violet is blue. Flag is win. Bob is you. Oh, perfect. I think I'm running out of memory again. Yeah. I'm definitely running out of memory. <laughs> Loser. You just gotta remember shit, man. It's not hard. Shut up, Shovel. <laughs> Why do you have Alzheimer's? Uses LWLGL. Don't know what that means. And that's how I brought it all back together. When does this change to displaying it in gigabytes instead of megabytes? Ah. Build a wall around Farlands. I'm not the game engine. Okay, so... The f well, I mean, the Farlands just extend infinitely, but... What would the length be? It'd be quite ridiculous. You're quite ridiculous, you know that? Hey, Fig. What's up? If you were to craft a compass... Oh, never mind, you've done that. Yep. <laughs> Why were you you can't that? find that gold if without a smoking table. If you were to craft a clock... I can do that. Got a piece of redstone and some gold ore. And those diamonds are blue. <laughs> yeah, this comes from the... Uh... The texture pack is on my mini. This comes from the uh, the flop texture pack. One of the many reasons I love this texture pack is just because of the blue diamond and also the the foliage colors in the trees. Yeah, it's nice. Add some, add some color variety. Oh, failed murder. Try by murder. You're murderous. Now the question is, I do I stop and the best. dig into the ground, or do I go another dale? Ooh. There's a pig up there. 
Look at him. Oh, that pig was dry. I'm gonna dig into this mountain right here. Joko wants you to build a wall around the Far Lands. Yeah, uh, sure. I'll take a few years. Oh, uh, that's... You have to really be paying attention to even notice this. <coughs> <coughs> Why'd you want me to pick a clock, Mystic? So you can tell what time of day it is. Uh, I'll do that when I actually have coal. I don't have any coal on me. <laughs> all right. You don't want to go all the way to the corner of Farlands out a clock, do you? NP is not in P. I don't know what that means. Either way. <laughs> 